Alright, let's do a cheers to the Sobies and Sabre Liquid Beer for the podcast. The ride again. <laughs> I love you guys. Careful. That takes hot. What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday, and welcome to Edmonton Sports Talk. Welcome to the Nielsen Show. My mic's a little loosey-goosey here. I'm going to have to tighten this bad boy up. Oh, those Hello Hockey Boys again are at it, oh, eh? Tommy Gazzola. Hey. He's always messing with everything. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. What's up, Eric? How are you? Hey, good, yeah. Good, good, you know, good. I can good. hear you now, yeah. Nice weekend? Yeah. Nice weekend? Uh, it was great, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Yours? Relaxing? Relaxing? Yeah, relaxing weekend. You know, uh, highly stressful, but... Uh, Oh, Just wow. another weekend, yeah. Sounds like a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was this weekend? My weekend was yeah, highly stressful. The stress yeah. was through the roof. It was, it was awesome. I um, mean, there's good stresses, there's bad stresses. It's good to feel a little stress. It lets you know you're alive, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very saying. good point. I think that's kind of that paraphrasing, is a saying, Eric. paraphrasing the saying. There's that's a, a great saying. There, that's a great saying. And uh, you can text us anytime. 780-218-9990. You know that saying? Six o'clock or check-in song there? We've got a playoff version from Jaunty of the six o'clock or check-ins on. Jaunty's been in the lab, man. He's been in the lab since like the trade deadline. I think. Jaunty has laid out four more different like playoff things for us. Lots of content coming from Jaunty and Victoria, so we'll definitely get to those as we work our way into the postseason. Uh, let's hop aboard that like train a little bit early on the show. Choo 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 choo. <laughs> Hammer the uh, hammer the thumbs up on the uh, the like train, Trev. I think you could turn me up just a little bit more. Tommy Gazzola sits here during Hello Hockey, right? And you turn Tommy down. Right? Oh, there we go. That's real nice now. So you turn Tommy down. That's uh, and then Tommy has better hearing than I, I guess. Yeah, I turn him like almost all the way down. You're almost you're, all the way down. Yeah, you're pretty well maxed right now, Dusty. Holy smokes! <laughs> yeah. Sounds great. That's why you were like you're like because all last week you were pretty well maxed, and I only had you about fifty percent. Yeah. And you were like, oh, yeah, that's plenty good. I'm like, I feel like it's not plenty good. <laughs> well, you know me, Trev. You know me, Trev. Hey, it was a big weekend for YouTube, Trev. YouTube, Trev in the press box. Huge weekend. At the Oilers game for the first time on Saturday night. Trev, what was the experience like? You got to ride shotgun with Tommy G? Yeah, it was uh, It was crazy. It's still kind of soaking in, honestly. Just, you know, just bumping into guys you've, you know, seen for so many years on yeah, TV yeah. and whatnot. So. It was a great experience. I, I can't say nothing but great things uh, to, to everyone I met. Uh, obviously, there's a few people uh, that have come in from the, the Hangout, right? DVD was there. Ah, was yes. He knew a few guys, uh, yeah. So that was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, I had a really nice talk with Ryan Rashog during the first intermission. I was eating the pizza. 
And he comes over. He's like, you can't be having pizza on the first day. I'm first day, like, no oh, chance. Right. I was like, okay, the nasty chat was kind of giving me warnings. And I'm like, I can throw this out. He's like, no, no, I'm just. I'm just I can know. throw this out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and he was like genuinely uh, curious. He's like, so what's your story? Where are you from? Like, how do you, how did you meet the boys at EST? And uh, he had nothing but great things to say about you guys. So it was honestly so cool. And, and Tommy's just, uh, he, he's a beauty. Like, <laughs> he's walking in just as like as you'd expect. He's like, how's it going, Cassandra? Is like, you know, like just saying hi everyone he's like presley how's it going bud and like i'm like you know and he's just he's oh it's so, it was so funny just seeing tommy just like nobody flourish. works at press box like tommy gazzola works at press box yeah, eh? absolutely tommy the wrench tommy yeah. the wrench tommy, tommy the, the wrench, wrench. Yeah. that's uh that's good did you uh did you see bob stoffer Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. that's uh, I gave him good old knuckles. And, what uh, yeah, you Tommy's, knuckled stuff? Yeah, yeah. Tommy's like, give him a hug. Give him a hug. Stop. <laughs> He's like, I don't really know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was pretty cool. And then uh, Jack Michaels, uh, I left right when he did. Yeah. And so it was just me and him in the elevator. So I was like, hi. By the way. <laughs> and uh, hey. so he's like, yeah, you're you got a you're a new face. I haven't seen you before. And so I told him that I'm here. I was shadowing with Tommy and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. It just I could go on and on, really. Like everyone. A good I met. night, it was, though. It was unbelievable, man. Excellent. Well, a conch for yeah. YouTube, Trev. Get into the press and box the on Saturday <laughs> and the pizza. <laughs> Speaking of pizza, big day, big day here on Edmonton Sports Talk. Huge day. I hope you guys didn't eat breakfast this morning because we're about to get just crushed by food this morning. First of all, we've got mm, that's good coming up for Italian Center Shop. And they've got these grab-and-go meatballs that you just heat up. And uh, so we've got the meatballs, we've got their torpedo buns, and we've got some provolone. And we're going to do homemade meatball subs at 7.30 today. For, mm, that's good. It's going to be great. And then the pizza game gets changed, man. I don't know if you've heard of them, but they opened today. Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria. They're bringing by a pizza today that's going to feed at least 10 of us, I said. Even though there's only three of us in the morning, but then like throughout the day, you know, Zacticum, Tommy Gazzola, Matty Awanik, hangout guests. These guys are opening today, 12848 97th Street, big in the United States, and now they're coming to Canada starting right here in Edmonton. I think we're probably going to get the 28-incher, which has 30 square slices. They do a 54-inch pizza this place. A 54-inch pizza with 200 slices. That's insane. They have a giant Sicilian, which is 54 inches by 54 inches. What is that? That's like, anyway. It's the largest deliverable pizza in the world. They know this because it's in the Guinness World Record book. Yeah, that's insane. So uh, they're hopping on board with us here on the Nielsen Show and on Two Guys. And uh, they do have some grand opening features. 50% off the Canadian Egg Gondola Pizza, Gondola Pizza, and then 50% off 14-inch large pizzas. You can get one of those, one topping for 11 bucks, $11.24. What's this thing delivered in? I don't know. Is we'll have a, to see. Like a forklift down the road. They like block off the street and can dee, 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 light going off. And I don't think we're getting the 54-incher, but they're bringing a pizza to us at 830 this morning. That'll be big enough to feed the whole crew. So we'll see how this is. But uh, Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria, new kid on the block, and they are with us here on Edmonton Sports Talk. And wait, I cannot wait to try this new pizza. I cannot wait. Uh, so that's something. So we, we got a busy day. Busy day here on EST today, which is good. Fill your yaps. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to have, mean, we're probably have some leftovers. Man, oh, man. By the time we get to Wall Street today, I'm going to be like, if you'd like some leftover pizza, swing on by the office. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it should be good. Fiftieth time you've said it throughout the morning, you'll be so old by then. If you get excited about new pizzas in town, give us a thumbs up. Hammer that bad boy over there. If you missed it, we pushed over six hundred live on Friday. The new standard has been set by all of you. You're wonderful. The new standard is like bare minimum four hundred likes every single day. Uh, so hammer that thumbs up when you pop on in. And uh, really, I mean, it goes uh, like hammering the thumbs up on YouTube is better than any way you could have ever contributed to us back at 1260. Like, you could do nothing at 1260. You could listen, but the rating, the rating system with radio is so damn sketchy that in the end, it really wouldn't matter unless you have one of those stupid little meters. Now all you have to do is just hammer the thumbs up, and you're supporting us in a major way. 
for no cost. Everybody gets a rating. That's it. Hey, you didn't before. It's easy. You, you can see it. You can see yeah. the rating. Back in the day, the radio ratings, they were like, I, didn't even, I couldn't even trust anybody. The boss would be like, hey, you're number three this book. Uh, here's a bonus. Uh, this time you're number four. Am I really? Like, is that what's really happening here? And they didn't really care about you. They only cared about one person wearing the... Uh, uh, well, the yeah, now, now it's every, everybody's rating is... Yeah. Now, your like is just as good as other guys like. If you're listening uh, on TuneIn, you're listening on iHeart, you're listening to EdmontonSportsTalk.com. Ratings, ratings, ratings. We have, all the cl- we have all the numbers. It's great. So hammer the thumbs up, and uh, that would go a long way as we work our way through the show this morning. RCN is in and says, here I joked about a Hyman pizza with 50 slices. Yeah, no, it's a reality now, man. It's a reality now. These guys are rolling out a 200-slice pizza. 54, and you got to do this just to see what it's like. like right? At least once. You, you got to at least have to, order this to. once. And it'd be better if it's just for you. I'm I mean, not it's, even it's sure. one thing to get it for an event, but if you're home alone on a weekend... Why not? Does 54 inches even fit through a regular door without That's being turned sideways? It's got to turn it sideways. sideways. Yeah. It's it's gotta, you got to turn this pizza sideways. <laughs> it's, uh, it's insane. Absolutely insane. I want somebody, the, the, the individual takedown, Friday evening, and then by Sunday you're wrapping the puppy up. Man, but whatever, even, whatever timeline you so choose. Yeah, even this 28-incher that comes with like 30 slices. Good enough. We'll see how that goes over yeah. today. Uh, so anyway, we're looking forward to it. They're going to drop off that pizza around 8 30 this morning uh, we will get into the oilers weekend blah, 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 blah. Hey, we got a game tonight and the game tonight tales of the north the today. who cares <laughs> today's tales of the north is focused on health and well-being uh we'll get into that as we work our way through the show today uh let me lay this bad boy out for you. of course you can text us anytime in the paris jewelers inbox go see our friends at pj's why not get married go to parisjewelers.com 22 locations canadian and family owned and uh, one of you, if you text in hilarious fashion, and I do have a couple of uh, clips that we can play today that could drive some text messages coming out of the weekend. So we can get into that. Did you know the a is value deals? Budget-friendly options that you can enjoy all day at any day of the week. Try the a Buddy Burger today for only like two seventy nine. dollars A&W value deals. Always tasty. Never pricey. Only at a and Morning announcements coming up. We'll go there. Tales of the North. For the Oilers and the Sharks. Cool. Oh, the Sharks, eh? Why are they still scheduling Sharks games? Like, should the Sharks schedule them? Like, should they not just stop playing a little while ago? That sucks. Good, bad, and ugly from the weekend coming up. Darren Dreger's going to pop by. The Oilers will never beat the Canucks in the playoffs. They lost every game to them. They'll never beat Vancouver in the playoffs. Well, season Calm series. Down. Calm down. Se- season series. It'd be a great series. It'd be a great series. And uh, we'll get to that a little bit more as we work our way through the show. But we'll talk Oilers and Canucks. We've got to talk about this Coyotes ownership situation with Dregs. Things are moving very quickly on that. Cool bet hotline of the day coming up. Mm, that's good. Meatball sub party, 730 today. Keyword for Vegas, 745. We are in the final two weeks of qualifying. Right? Two more. This is it. This is it. This is all. I'm pretty sure this is only two. Uh, this Friday, week yeah. and next week. And then we give away the, uh, give away the trip next Friday. Next Friday's big around these parts. We'll have more on that as we work our way through uh, through the next couple of weeks as well. Uh, I says pardon around 745. Kind of easy trivia from Mr. Mike. Three questions too many for Park Mazda. Uh, Ryan Rashog's going to pop by. Orange and Blue Breakfast from Mobile One. Like I said, we've got that pizza delivery coming from Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria. So uh, we'll be diving into that in the fourth hour of the show today as well. Another quick sponsor shout out to GCL Diesel who's hopped on board as the presenting sponsor of both pre- and post-game for the rest of the regular season and in the playoffs as well. And I think the best thing about the GCL Diesel partnership was that yesterday I got a text from one of our other sponsors saying, hey, nice job teaming up with GCL Diesel. Cam and the crew over there are good good guys. And, And when I have good guys... Text me. He actually used the word great. Great guys. Great guys. When I have good guys yeah. texting me saying other guys are great guys, it gets me very excited to, to kind of be in business with these guys. I think it elevates then the good guy into the great guy territory as well. Exactly. I, I would, yeah. Yeah. If a good guy is calling a great guy a great guy, a great guy then the good guy is actually a great guy too. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I think so. I think and that's so. how the sponsors kind of yeah. help each other. Yeah. GCL Diesel pregame show. Trev, what time do you guys get rolling tonight on the, uh, on the pregame? Seven o'clock? Six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock, seven thirty start, right? So uh all right, so uh seven thirty 
against the San Jose Sharks to finish the regular season. That's it. That's all. San Jose Sharks? Well, this week. Oh, yeah, yeah, Arizona yeah, and Colorado. Say, but, yeah. uh, no, I thought San Jose might have been done. Three and four. Oh, like yeah, said, the Sharks. I'm not, well, yeah. I'm not paying attention to San Jose's <laughs> schedule, if you can believe it. Uh, neither am I. <laughs> I had confession. All right, let's get into your morning announcements here. Seventy-five likes, first twenty minutes. Let's go. Feeling two hundred before seven today. It's not bad, Cliff. Feeling says yeah. feeling two hundred before seven. Why not with the pizza announcement? Ah, wow, with the pizza. We'll, we'll play some clips. I'll dive into the vault. We had two hundred in the first hour. Boom. Whatever you want, we'll play. Uh, Jimbo, boy, Jimbo. This is uh, this is scary to me, Jimbo. Jimbo says, "No pressure, guys, but my sense of self worth is directly connected to my ability to qualify for the EST Flyway." <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's best of fine. luck. Hey, two more best weeks. Best of luck. It's not easy to qualify. Not easy to qualify. Norm is in. It says, challenge accepted. I'm on it. 54-inch pizza. You're going to live with me now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take care of you. Because mm-hmm. I love you. Oh, I love you, John. Oh, I love you, son. Atifa's in. It says, I'm rolling to big mamas and papas, and I'm ordering a 54-incher. I just have to figure out how I'm going to roll out with her. <laughs> Can you imagine Atif trying to get through the door wow. out of the chair with this pizza? <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's I, good. I, I'm here for Norman Atif uh, taking this one down. I like this. Spruce Grove Corey is in. It says, how have we not gotten into that chicken clip from the NBA yet? Here's the thing. We uh, we have the Oilers weekend that we can certainly get to. We can get to the Masters, Scotty Scheffler, modern day golf robot. My God, Tiger Woods shaking hands with the tree. Tiger Woods shaking hand with tree meme, which was great. However, you know that we were going to come with this chicken clip. This is great. We have it. I think we can clip the end of it to have some fun in the inbox today as well. Listen to this. Fans are getting excited here. There might potentially be some free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh, man, free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's why the fans are getting a little little frothy. Oh, they're pointing to you. And- Bobo's playing with the crowd. Say, you want chicken? Here's your job. Oh, he gave him chicken. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. He did that on purpose. He did. He gave out free chicken. <laughs> I love the play by play guys. like... You think he did that on purpose? He did. He gave them free chicken. If he missed it, Boban last night for the Houston Rockets. If a visiting opponent misses two, or if the visiting team misses two straight free throws in the fourth quarter, everybody wins free chicken. And he'd already missed one. And then he's looking, he's standing there with the ball. And this is this is not his home crowd. Right. This is the Clippers. This is a Clippers game. He's a visiting player. He's standing there with the ball, and he like steps back, and he's looking at the crowd. He's like, "It's his moment. You want it? I got you. I got you." And then he steps up and intentionally misses the second free throw to deliver chicken for everybody. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. That's the clip today. That's it right there. He's a man of the people. Send us your "He's a man of the people" texts to seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine seven eight zero two one eight. 9999. He's a man of the people. There's got to be some good ones out there. Got to be some good ones. 7802189999. What a move. What an all-time move. Nobody loves anything as much as humans love free chicken. Can you play the beginning of the clip one more time, please? There's just there's quite a few to unpack there, but there was one line at the at the start. Uh, all right, let me bring it up here. I've got regarding it. Regarding the chicken. Man of the people clip. Hang on one sec here. I'll reload it. I cut it down. All right, here we go. Fans are getting excited here. There might potentially be some free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh, man, free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's why the fans are getting a little, <laughs> little frothy. That's the free chicken on the board? Oh, oh man, free chicken on the board. Bobo's playing with the crowd. Say, you want chicken? Here's your job. Oh, he gave him chicken. Ah! He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. He did that that's on purpose. Yeah, yeah. That's straight out of wrestling, isn't it? Like the, well, the, the thing, call is the very thing. wrestlingish. Right here, right here. Here's your job. Oh, he gave him oh, chicken. 
But even the guy playing the free chicken on the board. Free chicken on the board. <laughs> Just a free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh, man. Free chicken on the board. Oh, that right. man. Yeah. Free chicken on the board. Yeah, if we didn't know how important it was. I think that was good. I like this one. Tommy Gazzola walking into the press box. He's a man of the people. <laughs> Oh, that's too good. 780-218-9999. Northside Sandwich is in. Northside Sandwich, I see you, man. I get it. I don't care if nobody else gets this, but I'm going to lay it out there anyway for all you uh, parents out there and fans of Bluey. When Bandit pulled out that for sale sign and threw it on the road and decided not to move. He's a man of the people. Oh, my God, you guys. Spoiler alert. Watch. Uh, there's a new episode of Bluey. Usually they're like eight minutes. This one's 28 minutes. And, I, I mean, I guess... Northside Sandwich did just blow it. But uh, Tammy and I were bawling, and the kids were tearing up as well. Bluey, you've done it again. God, that was one of the most emo- – I'll just say this. I'm never moving. I'm never moving. We're not moving to a different house in the city. I'm not moving to a different city. I'm never moving. I could not do it after watching that episode of Bluey. My God. What? Getting emotional right now. Just moved? Getting emotional right now. What's that? Like they just moved no, no, I don't want to ruin it, but uh, the moving is hanging in the balance. Let's just say that. What oh, if you had like wrong. mold in your drywall? I mean, if you're forced to move, it would still be emotional, but understandable at that point, I guess. Okay. I, uh, I thought maybe I that's that. where the bluey came. When, when handsome Tommy Gazzola is giving out gift certificates at Hudson's. He's a man of the people. That's a good one, too. What is this, Sarah? When Dusty decides to pop in on the Discord. Chris Sadler. That's true. I did hop in on the Discord. I'm the concrete cobbler over there still. What? Remember, that's when yeah. I signed up that day. We were joking that I was a concrete cobbler. So I hopped on Discord over the weekend and put together an EST parlay on in the in the uh, DJ and Dan. And uh, man, it's a good place over there. The the Discord is great. Just kind of walked around for a bit. <laughs> kind of yeah, just shoulders. Hey, uh, just concrete kinda. cobblers in the house. <laughs> Every GM when Peter Shirelli starts making calls on trade deadline day. He's a man of the people. Anyway, uh, that was wild. Got to check that out. Oh, who is downstairs with a check? At this hour? The door is locked. Is this some sort of funny play? Trev, do you want to go peruse the door downstairs? Somebody's downstairs says, hey, Dusty and with crew, check. I'm downstairs with a check. So The door is locked. Wait a second. Did they text my personal phone? Trev, I want to see you ID them like at the door. You'll be fine, Trev. I don't know who would be bringing a check here unless it's like Cam from Alley Cat. I don't know who else. Trev's going to go down and check the door right now. Do we see Trev again? Well, either that or he gets a check. I mean, <laughs> or maybe it was just a maybe it was just a bit. First text in. He's a man of the people. <laughs> Somebody's delivering a check to him at the sports talk right now. He's a man of the people. Connor McDavid, healthy for the playoffs? He's a man of the people. 780 9999 Adam in Quebec City. Dustin Nielsen announcing the arrival of a 54-inch pizza in Edmonton. He's a man of the people. Pretty much. That, That's that real be nice. Your, That's that a good one. Leader. That's a good one. 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999. Scotty Scheffler, my God. Like there's just there's no denying Scotty Scheffler. It's oh, that simple. Max, oh Max Homa, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like they all just fell off. I know. At one point, hey, what's going on? That's what it was from the uh, from the blind curling event. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Good seeing you. Oh, run a little something else too. My goodness, what a oh wow oh what geez. is this? Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a surprise. Uh, Can is, we open uh, it now? What is this? A little treat on a Monday morning. My goodness, what is this? Ah, very nice. A chip. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That's great. That's from the uh, Blind Curling Club. We teamed up with them. That very event. nice. Have a good day. Thanks. We'll see you later. There we go. Beauty. Yeah, I just put it over there, Trevor. It's it's all good. Uh, all right, you can text us anytime. 780-218-9999. Uh, Amos Moses. Whenever Ken Holland tells stories about who used to be a Traveling vacuum salesman. He's a man of the people. <laughs> That's pretty good we as well. One of those. So at one point, there's like a four-way tie on the front nine at Augusta yesterday. 
It was the Sunday we wanted. It really was. The big Wanaka names. and I discussed uh, prior to the weekend of the hangout, which run of a Tiger Woods kind of in and around. I'd want a handful. I want a handful on the Sunday. I want to wake up Sunday. I want to know that it's going to. This yeah, is going to yeah. be a final day, and everybody's kind of in contention. But as you mentioned, as the afternoon wore on, well, guys just fell off, and Scotty didn't. It was like a tree losing its leaves. Eh? Yeah, it was. It was like Morikawa. Always in the trees. Got to keep it up the right side here. Oh no, he's gone to the left. Uh, into the drink. Tough, uh, tough way into the trap on that one, and then got stuck. On the Masters, on a Sunday at Augusta, to not get out of the trap when you're fighting for the lead. That makes me feel way better about being at the ranch on a Tuesday afternoon yeah, yeah, and yeah. not being able to get out of the trap. So that was a tough one. Oh. So Morikawa goes by the wayside. Ludwig Oberg's eating sandwiches. <laughs> oh, Oberg <laughs> He's was... He can't stop. He was seven under until somebody knocked a power bar out of his hand. Then he was two over. He'd take down that pizza today in a heartbeat. 23-year-old, no, no idea what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> and he was right there as well, but fell off. Max Homa was around it, but he too fell off. And Scotty Scheffler just didn't. He survived. Scotty Scheffler's last four golf tournaments. Now he's won two of the last three Masters. His last four golf tournaments are win, win, second, win. Do you know how difficult it is to be near unbeatable in golf against the entire field? Plus 475 favorite going into the Masters. Shortest number we've seen in long, 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 long time. And he did it, which is just insane. I mean, the guy's on an absolute tear right now. A tear, I tell you. So congratulations to Scotty Scheffler. A conch for Scotty, and perhaps a conch uh, for old Oberg and his sandwich eating uh, as well. A conch for all of it. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> they cut the break, and he's tearing down on like this. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a hungry boy. <laughs> Growing kid. I love how he doesn't have absolutely any idea what's going on, the significance of any of it. Just out there having a good time. Yeah. That's how it should be. Uh, where's the cart girl? Eating sandwiches. <laughs> Let's get some shots. Give me a glizzy. Let's get some shots. Yeah. You know, if somebody would have given Oberg a, uh, a hot dog at some point, he would have had, had it. Had it yeah. He would have had it. Uh, all right, we're halfway to 200 here. Right, uh, right on the nose. Let's crank this bad boy up. If you were watching over on YouTube, the, uh, the little plus, the little thumbs up there. That goes a long way for us. Hammer that bad boy. Tales of the North on the other side as the Oilers get ready for the San Jose Sharks. And the Oilers look to get back on track here. How important is momentum heading into the playoffs? We'll get into that a oh, little bit. Division still up for grabs. Highly unlikely. Mathematically. Highly unlikely, you but keep, you never you keep know. fighting for it, baby. You never know. Uh, very unlikely. It's going to be Edmonton opening up at home against either the Kings or the Golden Knights. TBD. Uh, we'll get into that as we continue working our way through the 6 o'clock hour today as well. Uh, keep more of those. Uh, he's a man of the people text flying in. That's pretty good. I like those today. Probably how you're going to win text today. Let's get to a sports update with Green Plan for LTE. Tales of the North on the other side. Oilers hosting the Sharks tonight to play with the remainder of the regular season, which will consist of three games in four days for the Oil. Tom Gazzola, he'll have your Oil Stream pregame show. That begins at 6 here tonight on Edmonton Sports Talk, the iHeart and TuneIn radio apps, and as well on YouTube. Eight games around the NHL tonight, including the Kings at home to the Wild, while out east the Penguins host Nashville. Islanders visit the Devils and the Caps are at home to Boston. Yesterday, the Golden Knights did rally from three down in the third to defeat Colorado 4-3. In overtime, Edmonton's Danielle Serdakny with the overtime winner. Canada over the USA 6-5. Capture gold for the Women's World Hockey Championships. Finland edging Czechia 3-2 to shootout to capture bronze. The PWHA schedule will resume Thursday with a pair of games. Well, number one, Scotty Scheffler pulling ahead with a great Sunday. Capturing his second Masters title in three years, finishing with a 4 out of 68. Tiger Woods would finish 16 over the highest score of his career. Corey Connors, the low Canadian, at plus seven. Jays, they took two of three from the Rockies over the weekend, pulling a 5 nothing shutout yesterday afternoon. Jays will host the Yankees. 4-3 beginning tonight, when they send Chris Bassett to the mound. First pitch, 5-0-7. Canadian Shy Gilgis Alexander leading the OKC Thunder to a 135-86 victory over Dallas. Thunder securing top seed in the NBA's West. The playing tournament will begin tomorrow with the Lakers visiting the Pelicans while the Kings host the Warriors. Sports update brought to you by Green Plan. Providing you with award-winning environmental planning and consulting services. Whether it's municipal, industrial, or residential, plan it right with Green Plan. Visit green-plan.com or give them a call. 780-455-4292. Hey. 
what say you? A nasty crew. We got the Nelson Trove flu. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. What say you? A nasty crew. My wife thinks I got better things to do, but there's nothing I can do about it. We're tuning in, I'm tuning in. We're listening online. We catch up with the podcast when we fall behind. We're texting in the nasty chat, what's on our mind? 7802189999. No more interference from corporate interest. Just Tati and Eric and all in the back end. Like Rashinsky and Noodles, Gavin can gauge it. If it's a bummer to go back to make a little wager, we can't wait for the Monday mandate. Shaggy's always on time, Tommy's always late. Would you like a cup of tea? Forget about the old place. Hey, we were number one in the tax race. We don't miss all the commercial breaks, but we sure miss Nickelback today. We wanna hear some hot takes and we wanna hear Renee. Why don't hold the neck up when I wanna kiss away? Beat up the tire fire and remember that name. We love every gold song, but what about the games? Macro Mallor, Rappaport, Drager, and Janir. It ain't Christmas season, but they sound like reindeer. Button in my cousin in the tales of the north. I'll put him here in person. Does he go for? What say you? AM Nasty Crew. We got the Nelson Trove flu, and there's nothing we can do about it, and there's nothing we can do about it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, there's nothing you can do about it. What's going on, everybody? Thank you very much for being here. We're coming at you from the Popeyes Louisiana Kitchen Studios this morning, where they've got the uh, buffalo chicken wrap now available. Got the buffalo poutine as well. Um, so I dabbled in the uh, Popeyes poutine over the uh, over the weekend. And for the longest time ever, I was like, Burger King's poutine is the best fast food poutine. Bur- I always Burger like, King? I know, I know, yeah, I know. Wow, I always like the gravy go. at Burger <laughs> King. Anyway, um, Burger King. it's a non-starter now. Like, I don't know, a, a place that is so focused on chicken and mixes in flounder. But a place that is so focused on chicken, rolling out a poutine, like the way they do, it's unfair. It's an unfair advantage. That Popeyes has on this poutine. Trev, you were on the poutine. Remember we had Popeyes for that one meeting? Remember that poutine? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I thought maybe it was a one-off. It was delicious again this weekend. Let's go. It's insane. It's like a Cajun fried poutine. It's just, it's nuts. Get them at all of your Popeyes locations. I actually whipped through the drive-thru in the new location over the, uh, over the weekend. It's nice, and, eh? uh, Yeah, it's, yeah. It, was, it was good. It's very convenient. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice location there. All right, can text us anytime, 780-218-9999. Richard is in and says, look at this, look at that. 54 inches by 54 inches. That's four and a half feet by four and a half feet. Yeah, I guess technically I, it would I, be. It's yeah. like four and a third, yeah. The uh, Big Mamas and Papas Pizzeria has a 54-incher. It's the world record holder for longest deliver or largest deliverable pizza. If you stand it up, it's like Muggsy Bogues. <laughs> like, you have to. We're going to eat a pizza the same length as Muggsy Bogues. I wonder if they, they have to deliver these things on a flat deck? Like, is that what has to happen? I really hope it's a small forklift and they have to like block off. Now, we're not, that, the we're not getting too. that one. No. We're not getting that one. They're bringing us. But you can. Uh, a lot. Yeah, you can definitely go get <laughs> it. I'd so, love to somebody's got to try this 54 Come on a inch. Man. Do it. <laughs> anyway, more details on Big Mamas and Papas as we continue to work our way through the show today. Good, bad, and ugly from the weekend. More of your text messages about being a man of the people. Lots of uh, lots of those continuing to roll in. Gary Bettman finally moving to Coyotes. He's a man of the people! <laughs> He's a hero yeah, now. Yeah, no. uh, Gary Bettman, congratulations. You have done it. JVB is in and says, the restaurant server, when Rashog declines a fork for his order of chicken wings. He's a man of the people. He's finally doing it like the rest of us. Congratulations, Shoggy. Uh, Darren Dreger will be by just after 7 o'clock today. Ryan Rashog at 8.30 this morning. Hammer the thumbs up for us if you are watching on YouTube. And if you are listening on TuneIn or iHeart, and you're always like, you guys always give the YouTube people tasks, but you never get off. Give us tasks. <laughs> Uh, your only task, your only homework, is to tell your friends and coworkers, even your enemies, how easy it is to consume Edmonton Sports Stock on the free TuneIn or iHeart apps. That's all you have to do. It's very and, easy. And you're all equals in the Paris Jewelers inbox as well. And this one, unsigned Dusty, try the loaded buffalo chicken poutine. Comes with nuggets on top. Oh, I saw a picture of that the other day. That might be the next, <laughs> just uh, like, who does the this? next boss, eh? <laughs> who does this? <laughs> Mad man. Oh, people are, people are crazy. That's the bottom line. 
All right, Tales of the North. Let's set this bad boy up for you. The Edmonton Oilers, the San Jose Sharks. Hey, sorry I had your sound up too high during the sports update. What? I went to get my Tales of the North stuff. People were like, I can't hear Eric. That's on me. I'll take the blame on that one. <sighs> Frustrating. Uh, hey, all right. Just speak louder. <laughs> I guess I need to yell. <laughs> uh, Tales of the North, each and every home game. On a weekday, you'll get Tales of the North presented to you by Christopher Boyle, Lord of Life Assurance, Sentinel of Life's Legacy, also provider of uh, playoff tickets for your Edmonton Oilers. If you're watching on YouTube, scan that QR code and it take care of that business. And if you are uh, just listening online, you can get it done as well by going to ChristopherBoyle.net slash Tales of the North. ChristopherBoyle.net slash Tales of the North. 17 years of experience. He works with both families and business. Take care of you. Put you in a better spot financially. End of story. All right, here we go. Oilers and uh, final Tales of the North of the regular season. Let's uh, let's knock a good one out of the park here. Are you ready, Eric? Be yours, right. <laughs> here we go. Who owns the North? Who owns Here lies the body of Mary Lee, died at the age of 103. For 15 years, she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this vicinity. <laughs> Tonight in the North, you observe for entertainment in a battle that means near nothing in the pursuit of Lord Stanley's chalice. You pray for health and wellness of those you put on a pedestal as your heroes. Day to day be damned. Whether it be the mid-body muscle of McDavid or Leon's liver, they must be fine. The kidneys of Cain or Vincent's veins, they must be fine. The back of Bush or the neck of Nuge, they must be fine. The hands and heart of Hyman, we know they'll be fine. These are the tales of the North and may they be heard Far and wide, across this great land. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Tales of the North brought to you by Chris Boyle. ChristopherBoyle.net slash Tales of the North. More info on those playoff tickets. Okay, what was going on there? Uh, what was that? Jaws, eh? Oh, oh, Quint. oh okay. I'll catch you, fish. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a big Jaws guy. I've seen it like twice. So I guess I didn't catch on to that. Damn. That was really good. You sounded like him. I know you, <laughs> sound, you, sounded, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. sounded like the guy. 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999. And the injuries you mentioned in that. Injury report. I mean, this is just kind of yeah. Those are care. all just. I just. These I, aren't, yeah, I just, just was just laying out sure. things that should be fine. <laughs> just, yeah, I, out I, in this I, market, there's no inside wanna, info here. Yeah, yeah. I know somebody's oh, be like mentioned the livers. Dusty, Dusty said Leon's livers yeah, yeah. failing on him. I what heard is Nielsen this? Nielsen mentioned on the. <laughs> yeah, no, these are all just make believe things. Whether it be the mid body muscle of McDavid, well, I mean that could be a thing. Well, or Leon's liver, they must be fine. The kidneys of kidneys, the yeah. kidneys of Cain or Vincent's veins, they must be fine. And the back of Bush or the neck of Nuge, they must be fine. And then the hands and heart of Hyman, mm. we know they'll be fine. Yeah, oh, man, that's, that's uh, very nice. Because Zach Hyman's Zach Hyman's everybody's hero, as he should be. All right, so there you go. Yeah, not bad for a final uh, regular I, I think season so. I think, home game. Of course, again, it doesn't rest in the playoffs, but that's what this is about, though, right? Yes. I mean, stay healthy, be healthy. If you have to rest somebody, you have to rest somebody. Yeah. Simple as. That. Guys, any plans to record tales for every playoff game and play them on the pregame show? Oh, I hadn't uh, hadn't thought of that. I guess it's something we could uh we could work on. Guys, I just got off the iHeart Radio app, jumped on YouTube stream, smashed the thumbs up, and then went back to iHeart app. Took me a total of three and a half seconds. Love the show. Keep up the good work, the original data muncher. Boom. <laughs> that sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? Three and a half seconds. I'm going to say it probably took him a little bit longer than three and a half seconds, but whatever. 
totally, uh, <laughs> totally abide by it, my man. Thank you very much for that. So that's a guy who's listening on iHeart, slipped on over, hammered the, uh, hammered the thumbs up, which is, uh, which is good. So you do that as well on YouTube today. We'd very much appreciate it. Uh, Bones in there says, you forgot the gout of Rashog. Uh, it must be fine. Yeah, he'll yeah. push through. Uh, yeah, I think so. Don't he'll, worry. he'll grind it out. I know you're concerned, Bones, but don't worry. He'll be Your there. gout can't be that bad. Right how many pimento sandwiches he put away this weekend. Yeah, hey, how, how bad can the gout be if you're building a simulator to golf? I'm assuming the gout flares are wow. under control right now. The yeah. flare-ups are not happening. It's funny the timing of those flare-ups. Hey, like, yeah, it's, oh, I don't know what's uh, happening around here. <laughs> Ryan, I'm going to need you to... Ah, I gotta. We'll get to our good, bad, and ugly in a little bit. But uh, as for the Oilers weekend goes, you know, not ideal, but anything to really be concerned about? Like, well, are you, did, did anybody are, else get hurt? No, and McDavid will be healthy. McDavid's so there you go. Play, I think so. that the overall picture, I mean, sure, you would, would you have liked to stack up and get a win? Would you like to beat the all these things? Sure, but... In the grand scheme, I guess they don't. You're you're in the playoffs. You know, one of the two you know, the two possibilities of opponents right now, and it, it, health has got to be paramount right now. I know it's not a sexy answer, but as long as you at. come out of these things healthy, you're going to be right? okay. Yeah. I mean, you maybe you want a little bit of momentum, line experiments, whatever you want, but but health has got to be the paramount thing. Well, let's ask you this morning. You can text us seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine or hit us up over on the uh, nasty chat this morning as well. Uh, the fact that they didn't beat the Vancouver Canucks this season, is that of a concern to you? I mean, the Canucks are going to win the division because they swept the Oilers. You can look at it like in a bunch of different ways, but their point cushion directly relates to what they were able to do against the Edmonton Oilers this year. Trev, are you at all concerned that the Oilers, with either coach, could not figure out how to get the job done against the uh, Vancouver Canucks? I don't think so. Like, if they were to play this game like how they started the season where Vancouver just kind of walked all over them, then I'd be concerned. But, like, for the most part, I, I thought they were kind of... I thought they played, def like, okay defensively. Uh, they, they couldn't really get anything going offensively in that game. But I thought, like, Vancouver brought it. And, I, like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not expecting 110%. Like, yeah, you, you want to give an effort. You have to show that. But, like, at the, at the end of the day, like... They're going to be saving, in my mind, I think they're going to be saving their best hockey for playoffs, and that's when you're going to be seeing like 110% effort. You went into that game without McDavid, and I thought you fared pretty good against one of the best teams in the NHL, so I'm not I'm not too worried. You know, you, you throw in Connor McDavid into the equation, it's going, to be, it's going to be a different outcome. And the Oilers have a little bit more experience, I think, uh, than Vancouver does. So, uh, yeah, like um, uh, I, I thought it was a good... It was a good test. Uh, without McDavid, I thought they did okay. Uh, you know what? I think Trev makes an interesting point. I saw it pop up quite a bit on uh, on Twitter over the weekend as well, Rick. Uh, the fact that do others have, and this team as a group, have been kind of playoff tested, eliminated by the eventual Stanley Cup champion each of the last two years. Vancouver hasn't necessarily gone through that type of thing just yet. Oldest roster? Oh, I yeah. Use a, very, a very... How much you want to factor that in? Veteran but, roster, Eric. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, veteran yeah, roster. Yeah. Um, I, think, I, think that, I think that bodes well for the Oilers when you look at the Canucks. It the, should. This group for the Canucks haven't suffered significant heartbreak in the postseason like the, uh, like the Oilers have the last but couple of years. But then you go to the Kings and you look at who's been giving them the heartbreak all of these seasons, right? And I know that then that conversation immediately goes to, well, the Oilers are a better team. Well, and, and I echo Vincent DeHarnay's comments as well. And I think he said post game, you know, we're the best team in the league. And I think that's fair. On most nights, they could probably beat any team in this league. They, they showed it on a, on a hell of a run midway through the season. Yeah. But he also followed it up with in a seven game series that doesn't really translate necessarily. You, you could be the best. Run into a hot goalie, get a couple injuries here or there. I mean, things do happen. Um, so it's funny. I, I like how you know the Canucks own the Oilers' number during the regular season. We're all sitting here, and again, as as Trev pointed out, it's not like they got shellacked. This isn't like the beginning of the year. Uh, no, this is not a bare butt hand. spanking to start the year. Yeah. Night, whatever you're, you're chasing the division, it kind of sucks that you're at home and you, you come up a little short. But it wasn't like it wasn't a it wasn't the Stars game from a couple weeks ago where you're just like holy hell. Um, but losing all those games, I, I again, where do you do you go into this thing thinking oh. I, 
they've had us so many times, now we get our one, because that's the same thing kind of I see with the Kings, but then you point to talent and say the Oilers are a better team than the Kings. So, I don't know. They're in the playoffs. That's the thing. And and you know it's going to be hard opposition in the West. I don't even care. Even if it's Nashville. I mean, even Nashville is not going to be in a, the, the way they've been playing down the stretch. I know you can maybe argue maybe they're the lesser than, or maybe the Kings are the lesser than, but they're all going to be tough opponents. Um, I, I don't read into too much. I, I don't know. Should we go back to Friday's game? Coyotes, do you want to touch yeah. that at all? I mean, it's, yeah, I'm, I, that you too know what, is a bit of a... You know I, don't, I, I thought some of the takes were kind of people after being like, the Coyotes, what a group. Stepping up when they know they're leaving. Well, I was just like, first of all, they know they've probably been leaving for about five years. They've been garbage the whole time. Don't give me this. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Coyotes have tried so hard. Please, come on. You want your team to win every game. I know people, sometimes fans travel from out of town wanting to see a Connor McDavid play or, or an Oilers win, but this stage of the game, and we've talked about their health and how lucky they've been this season, or fortunate they've been with their health. Yeah. Um, so that, to me, is paramount right now. You kind of know where you're going to be at. Yeah, the division was there for the grabs. I mean, still still attainable, however unlikely, but I think health is the paramount thing right now. The rookie texts in and says, guys, it's of little con- consequence. The Canucks won't get out of the first round. I, don't know. I mean, the Canucks, we've been kind of thinking the Canucks are going to fall off all season long. But why? Like, and why, they just haven't. So I know it's fun to be like, the Canucks aren't going to get out of the first round. Uh, it looks like they are going to get the Nashville Predators. Predators have been great. I think it'll be a good series. Yep. We'll see where Demko's at. Um, should be a great series. Like all but these teams in the I mean, West really are. Yeah. It's, yeah. I didn't stack them every one. And, and we talk about, you know, you're in this market. You say, oh, who's really is be scared of it? But you go to any other market and you'll be saying the same about all the other teams, the Oilers included. So I think they're all scared of each other. And it's that Spider-Man meme again where they're all pointing at each other. KCF in uh, at the Paris Jewelers inbox today, 780-218-9999. Concern would be that Skinner versus a fast lateral team like the Canucks. He's not that type of goalie. Should be fine versus the Kings. Or the Golden Knights. That's in from KCF talking about uh, talking about Skinner this morning. Seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. LFC captain is in and says, "Oh yeah, I was listening on iHeart Radio. Parked, opened up YouTube, liked it, reopened it, continued listening on iHeart. Three seconds flat. Boom. Yeah. God, what is this? A pit stop? Sounds like a pit stop. Get the clock on these guys. Pulling over, switching, liking, in less." Oh. Then three seconds, think, unbelievable. You know, LFC captain gets the constructors award, I think, or something. That's that's, that's that. pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. We are still 19 likes away from smashing 200 in the first hour of the show. So if you're watching over on YouTube, hammer the thumbs up. We're going to get into the good, bad, and ugly from the weekend. We're going to have another visitor here early in the day as uh, as well. Bruce heck? from William Huff is dro- dropping off like this little playoff package they're selling for businesses and stuff. So we're going to give you a look at that. He's going to drop it off here in the next little bit too. I like when people come visit early in the morning. Hell of a Monday too. Yeah, I real nice on a Monday. Fridays is one thing, but a Monday? Got the, the, the homemade meatball sub coming up from mm, that's good the pizza getting dropped off from big mamas and pot what a day what a day and you're right it's just monday it's just monday very exciting very exciting all right let's get into our good bad and ugly from the weekend uh lieutenant eric what is your good from the weekend? A little home cooking danielle serdakny edmonton's own scoring oh. the overtime winner canada topping the usa on their soil, as uh, what was done last year is kind of the opposite now. 6-5 of the Women's World Hockey Championships, Canada, securing the gold yesterday afternoon. Daniel Serdakny, the winner, of course, the Edmontonian. Uh, it's just nice to see again. I, I know when we get to the women's and the international play, and you kind of say, yeah, when did the when did the states and Canada play? And, of course, they did in the, in the uh, round, Robin preliminary round, but this is when it matters. Gold medal, overtime. Want nothing better, and in a Sunday in which the you know the Masters is on, this was happening. Um, it was nice to see, especially an Edmontonian getting it. So six five, Daniel Serdakny, and Canada topping the USA six five, capturing gold. PWHL schedule resuming on Thursday. Sir, that made me feel a little bit old. Not that Serdakny's old, but she was on Team Alberta that I called in the Canada Games a few years back, and now here she is. Scoring huge overtime winners for Team Canada. Watching that career. Local girl. That's absolutely amazing stuff. So, yeah, that's a good. Uh, I'm going to go to Scotty, Se- Scotty Scheffler's shot on nine when it was like everybody was at seven under. And uh, his approach dropped it, spun it back. And I, wa- like, I, 
I like Scotty Scheffler. I was kind of cheering for somebody else to win just because Scheffler's been so dominant lately. I'm totally fine with Scheffler. I wasn't cheering like against Scotty. Neither I was, was cheering I, yeah. for some of the others. Cheering for Homa. But yeah, I want. Yeah, I, I, I well, I yeah, I live bet Homa but, at but six no to one. True villain in there like, near the end, eh? That you're no, kinda... but even Scotty, like, but but I so I wasn't. I wanted somebody else to be in the mix down the stretch. I guess that's probably what I was cheering for. I wanted it to come down to like the final putt or something. Yeah. Um, but I wanted that one to roll in. That would have been full blown master's moment forever. Drops it in, sucks it back, knocks it home. Just missed. But I, I think when that shot, I mean, that's gotta that's gotta destroy a few of the other guys. You're kind of hanging around there, seeing Scotty doing what he's doing. So I'll go with the uh, the approach shot on the ninth green when it was tied at seven under for Scotty Scheffler to kind of make the difference there. Uh, you're bad from the weekend. So I get to one more good here from Surveyor Brett as he was at Wayne's over the weekend for a national hockey card. Uh, oh, that was good. Yeah, conch for everybody. Wayne's there. Yeah. Oh, one more, uh, one yeah. more quick conch here too. Good morning, guys. It's Gumshoe Rob. I was wondering if I get a conch for my wife who's recovering from a successful appendectomy surgery. You know it. Imagine if we're like, no, sorry, Rob. <laughs> 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 I mean, an all-time prick move. Oh, sorry, Rob. Too busy. Uh, by the way, Gumshoe Rob, are you actually Murder Rob? Are you the guy I know who I go? I call Murder Rob. Is that you? I think Gumshoe Rob solved something for you last week. Gumshoe yeah, Rob sounds like a guy who's trying to hide from his real handle of Murder Rob. Uh, all right, what's your bad from the weekend? Uh, my bad is uh, Bobet Marjanovic. What? Losing a jump ball to former Edmonton stinger Xavier Moon. Okay, yeah, that's bad. The height. I mean, he's got like two feet on on Moon. Uh, I don't know if you saw the video, but uh, again, the former Edmonton Stinger thought I'd give him some love this morning, but uh, beating the chicken man, uh, bringing chicken for the masses, Boban Marjanovic, but also losing a jump ball to Xavier Moon. Um, I, I had the heights here. Where is it? Seven, was he? Seven, four? Yeah, seven, four. Trev, can you run downstairs and grab what Bruce is dropping off? Thanks, man. And Moon, six foot. It's a busy day for Trev. He's getting his stairs in. Holy smokes. Foot and four inches. Yeah, that's insane. You it think he did insane. it? But like, Boba that's was obviously bad. in a hilarious mood yesterday. Yeah. So maybe that's what was going on there. Uh, my bad. So remember the Gretzky sale? The uh, $3.7 million or whatever it was for that case of Gretzky cards? Here's the latest. The buyer for the record-breaking 1980 OPG seal case of hockey cards has not yet completed the purchase. Jack Arkoski, the winning bidder, seems to have possibly gotten cold feet. Arshosky. Right. You can't trust a man named Arshosky. I'm sorry. Arshosky. Arshosky, you've done it again. Arshosky stated that he's trying to find a better home for the sealed case of cards as he's not an avid collector and is looking for someone who's more passionate about collecting. His quote was, I don't want anything additional for myself other than that I was the winning bid for these hockey, other than the winning bid for these hockey cards. He also says he's not trying to flip the case to a new buyer for profit. Interestingly, says if he can't find a buyer, he's considering giving away, giving the case away to a girl he met in grade school, <laughs> a hockey fan who he believes is his true soulmate. So this is going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Oh boy, my God, what do we? What's going on outside there, Trev? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's uh, what's what's it's, uh, bring him in here? What do we? What do we hey. got here? What is this? We got we got Bruce from William Huff. All right, beauty. Oilers playoff packs. For businesses? For businesses. Fans? Schools, so. All right, beauty. All right, let's get into this thing. You Rick, you want to open that bad boy up? Let's, uh, so, yeah, these are available. <laughs> WilliamHuff.com. William Huff. Go to William Huff. And uh, for the playoff push, obviously, uh, Bruce and the team were there. Great partners with the, uh, with the Edmonton Oilers. You can go pick one of these bad what a What a nice little delivery here today. Look at this. Look at this. Rick, grab the other side here. Let's roll this out. So you pick this up. Oh, I'll give you the details on it. But uh, pick this up. Put it in your office. Put it in your home. Check out this banner. This is sweet. Let's go, Oilers hey. playoff banners. Available at William Huff. Rick, what else you got over there? Oh, that's those are the smaller ones. Oh, these are great. And they smell terrific. <laughs> they smell great. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There you go. Oh, this is real nice. Beauty. Same. A little smaller one? Here, Trev, you take the, take the bigger one. We'll open up the smaller one. 
Put that, stretch it out. Maybe go put it on the table over there and then we'll stretch it out. All right, let's get into this one too. This is sweet. WilliamHuff.com. If you want to show your support for the team during the postseason, uh, go pick it up. They got different packages. Oh, you can get each one individual. Okay. Nice. We got the details. I'll, I'll lay those out. So this is the smaller one. And these are decals? Window decals for your business as well. So, yeah, these window decals you put right on. Boom. Right on the window of your business. Or your house. You could do that as well. Good size banners here and everything. This is uh, this is nice. This is good. So if you go to WilliamHuff.com right now, different packages available over there. You got the two window decals. You got the 24 by 48 banner and then 75 smaller window decals for just 100 bucks. These are the best pom poms. And then they've got a package for two fifty and a package for five hundred. Get the bigger, bigger banner banners and uh, more decals and things along those lines. This is the stack that you can get, so you can dish those bad boys out as well. Uh, very cool. You can buy one decal. You can also just get one decal. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, that's nice. perfect. You can buy individual just swing by. No, just scroll down the link and you'll okay. Buy individual All right, beauty. So yeah, you can hop, get everything individually on these bad boys as well over at uh, William Huff for the playoffs. William Huff. How about this? This is uh, get outfitted. This is uh, this is good spirit right here. They've got it all. Good spirit for the postseason. WilliamHuff.com is where you can check that bad boy out. Uh, all right, quickly, uh, you're ugly from the weekend. Tiger Woods. Oh yeah, Tiger had a tough one. It's pretty ugly. That was kind of that he, was kind of tough. He limited Tiger. as well. I mean, the, yeah, the score is. Uh, I uh, not something to write home. My ugly is the way I was crying for that 28 episode, 20 minute, 28 minute episode of Bluey. Ugly crying. That was yeah. You're, I was I was ugly blubbering. crying. I was ugly crying. That was ugly. Darren Dreger is going to join us coming up. That's your good, bad, and ugly from the weekend. So yeah, these are uh, these are awesome. Like look at these little. These are great. Just these bad boys. Out. So you can just go pick up one of these if you want. A little Let's go Oilers thing here, and obviously they got a great partnership with the Oilers, so they can lay that out. These are the window decals. If you're watching, if you're uh, if you're listening, just go to WilliamHuff.com, and uh, you can find out more right there. But it's a real, real nice little package. Easy to kind of theme up your business or your house. At a rather reasonable cost for all yeah. the stuff that you're going to be and getting. Various sizes. The big, that big, big banner is insane. Yeah, the big banner is huge. I don't know I mean, what we're going to do with that big banner. Garth Brooks, eat your heart what? out. <laughs> uh, all right. Man, what, what, how about these visits? First thing today. Monday. This is great. 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999. Also, 232 likes. Trev's going to ball. Trev's going to be in the. He's, he's going to be in the back, back balling right now. Uh, yeah, who? What are you watching the twenty-eight minute episode of Bluey right now, Trev? Uh, anyway, thanks, thanks to Bruce and the team of William Huff for dropping these off. Get uh, get your business, get your house playoff ready with William Huff at uh, WilliamHuff.com. All right, Darren Dreger on the other side. We got to get into this whole Coyotes ownership thing. How much? Where's the money going? What's happening? And and ta-da! Another team. <laughs> and what are we going to call them? I can't wait to talk about Coyotes 2.0. Uh, so we'll get into that. We'll also get Drake's thoughts on Vancouver beating Edmonton in all of their head-to-heads this year. And should Oilers fans be concerned? That's on the way. Mm, that's good. Cool bed hotline of the day. Vegas keyword in 44 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Let's get to a sports update right now with Lieutenant Eric. Oilers and Sharks tonight down at Ice District. Tom Gazzola will have your oil stream pregame show. It starts at 6 here on Edmonton Sports Talk, as well as in the iHeart and TuneIn radio apps and YouTube. Eight games around the NHL tonight in total, including the Kings at home to the Wild. Well, out east, the Penguins host Nashville. Islanders visit the Devils, and the Caps are at home to the Bruins. Yesterday, the Golden Knights rallying from three down in the third, knocking off the Avs 4-3 in overtime. Edmonton's Danielle Serdakny with the overtime winner. Canada topping the USA 6-5, capturing gold at the Women's World Hockey Championships. It was Finland over Czechia 3-2 for the bronze medal. The PWHL schedule will resume Thursday with two games. World number one, Scotty Scheffler pulling ahead with a great Sunday, capturing his second Masters title in three years, finishing with a 468. Tiger Woods finishing 16 over three, 304, the highest 72-hole score of his career. Corey Connors, the low Canadian plus seven. Blue Jays taking two of three from the Rockies over the weekend following a 5 nothing shutout yesterday afternoon. The Jays host the Yankees for three beginning tonight when they send Chris Bass to the hill. First pitch 5-0-7. OKC Thunder 135-86 over Dallas to secure top seed in the NBA's West. The play-in tournament begins tomorrow with the Lakers visiting the Pelicans while the Kings host the Warriors. 
Sports Update brought to you by the Sports Bar Lounge at Central Casino Fort Road. Your home for the Oilers push to the postseason. Catch all the action, including tonight at the Central Casino Sports Bar and Lounge. The Nielsen Show featuring Lieutenant Eric. Only on Edmonton Sports Talk. Three on the Nielsen Show. What's going on, everybody? Thank you very much for being here as we continue to work our way towards another game for the Edmonton Oilers. We did it there. I don't know. That was funny for us. This is why we need to stream the entire office. Oh, yeah. Somebody right. could have seen the other stream from out in the office and saw Eric pick up that box and just yeah. completely chuck it. Just hum it. It's fun. That, was, it uh, that's, uh, that was good. <laughs> Man, what a what a Monday here. We are uh we are flying along and uh, it's just gonna get better and better and better. Uh Rashad's gonna join us around eight thirty this morning. Shout out to Bruce from uh, William Huff for just dropping off the uh playoff packages that they put together. Put your uh show your show your team spirit. Put it on display. Look at that. You know, look at this. Look at this, look at that. He says the wig, can't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that that'll get you on TV. You do something <laughs> like that, right? Well, that'll get you on TV for sure. Like, uh, all right, you can uh, text us anytime, 780-218-9999. We got the Cool Bet Hotline of the Day coming up in about 20 minutes. Uh, in exactly 40 minutes, we'll give you another keyword for the EST flyaway to Vegas as we are giving away a trip to Vegas to one of our lucky listeners or viewers. Uh, so be ready for that. We'll have that coming up for you as well. Mm, that's good. And I says pardon, also still on the way here in our number two. Hockey Insiders today and every day all season long brought to you by Pro-Am Sports. Your locally owned sports memorabilia and apparel specialist. You can find them just north of the Yellowhead. St. Albert Trail, 128th Ave. Or visit them online at proamsports.ca. The uh, website has more details on some signings they've got locked and loaded. Like you, they are uh, Oilers fans. They are sports nerds. And uh, they are nasty. so you can slide on over and chat with the Cooks and Boys. Uh, they got those car flags talking about uh, team spirit. I, I, are car flags, let's ask Dregs. Like, when the playoffs start in Toronto, do you see Maple Leafs car flags pop up? Or is this just like a Western Canada thing? Dregs, where, where do you come up? What's a car flag like out east? Yeah, it's it's significant. It, it is. is. Okay. Um, yeah, you know what? I would say that for major events like World Cup of Soccer, things like that, the international fan really takes hold of it. And you'll see Greece, you'll see the Italian flags and, and all of that. That's very prominent. But, yeah, you see a lot of – not just the, the Toronto Maple Leaf car flags, but then the license plate wrapper, right? Uh, ah. That ah. always has like Go Leafs Go or 1967 or something along those lines. So we definitely see it. No question about that. And they're still rolling out the 1967 stuff, eh? Holy oh, smokes. Yeah. They got to get that updated. Uh, and who knows? Maybe they will. I mean, this year's wide open. The Edmonton Oilers over the weekend. Connor McDavid has now been out for, for more than a week. Um, but at this time of year, I mean, the Oilers are pretty much locked into second. They're going to get the Kings or the Golden Knights. You know, people yeah. still like to see Connor get 100 assists somewhere along the way. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you got to make sure this guy's healthy or you're done anyway. Right, Drags? None of this Agreed. matters. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, my sense was that McDavid was likely going to play Saturday. That was mm. the sense that I had going into the weekend. Didn't make sense to play back-to-back. So you rest him for that second game on Friday and then roll him out again on Saturday. So clearly whatever he's got that's nagging or bugging him is, is still there. So why wouldn't you take advantage of it? But like every player, you don't want to be sitting on the sidelines when you're healthy enough to go um, into the playoffs. So he's going to want at least a game or two or maybe all three that they have remaining to get tuned up. And yeah, as much as the individual accolades are nice, and it would be great if he gets 100 assists. Um, does it matter? No. In the big picture, it doesn't matter. But who's getting who? McDavid plays three shifts. He's probably getting 
<laughs> that's all he needs. <laughs> season, that's all he needs. But most players this time of year, again, when you're high octane guys like Connor McDavid, you know, you 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 want to play a game or two at the end of the regular season to make sure that everything is still rolling and you've got that momentum going into the playoffs. Darren, it is a funny time of the year where we're discussing things in terms of, yeah. you know, personal achievements as we're talking about McDavid. And then, you know, team achievements as the Oilers entering the weekend, looking to hunt down the Canucks for, for tops in the Pacific, ultimately coming up short a little Saturday night. But kind of wanted your thoughts, too, on that game and, and the series yeah. between these two teams. And again, people... I think this morning from an Oilers fan view and approach, you say, uh, who, the division, who wants it anyways, yeah. right? after? Your, who cares you know, if you yeah. didn't beat them once this season? Because <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. still in the playoffs and they're, st- you know, <laughs> where they are. Um, but how much do you make of the Canucks kind of, you know, completing that series? Because obviously the, the games at the beginning of the year, um, a different yeah. time really for this Oilers team. And then post Knobloch, you've seen what they did. And Saturday night, I think a pretty evenly matched game, I guess. But uh, your thoughts yeah. on that and I guess the season series as, as a whole between the Canucks and Oilers and how you think a potential playoff matchup might uh, might go between those two? Well, look, I mean, you can you can dismiss season series because none of it really matters until you get to the playoffs. But it does give you a, a, an indication of measurement of where you're at, you know, the matchup battles, all the head to head stuff. Um, you know, Vancouver is a much better team, much different team with Thatcher Demko. That's pretty obvious given, you know, the heroics of Demko prior to his injury. So how do they match up? I think they match up pretty well, you know, best on best. Uh, I, I still like the Oilers with all due respect to the Vancouver Canucks. I don't think that the season for the Vancouver Canucks is a mirage. Uh, I think that they are a really good team. They're super well coached, uh, but when I look head to head, I like the chances of Connor McDavid, you know, finding his way. Leon Dreisaitl finding his way. Uh, I still have faith in Evander Kane, even though there's been a lot of negativity around Evander Kane of late. Uh, I think that this guy is a, a built playoff performer, and if he can elevate his investment, I believe he will. He's going to be a tough handle for any team. And in this case, we're talking about the Vancouver Canucks. But you look at the season series, and it does give you an indication. If you're a coaching staff, you know, you've already poured over all the videotape of the season series, and you're trying to expose what their weakness might be. You're trying to tighten things up on on systemic play that the Vancouver Canucks, you know, are going to bring into the equation, be it through the neutral zone, the defensive zone, all of those things. So there's a lot to learn until you drop the puck in game one, the best of seven series. And then all that kind of goes out the window and you got to lean on your best being better than their best. It comes down to that being as simple. Darren Dreger with us, presented you by pro Sports this morning. Uh, Mark Stone returned to practice late last week. What We know we know what the buzz is on social media. We know what the buzz is with fans. What's the buzz like around the league from people that you would talk to behind the scenes about Stone uh, trending very nicely towards opening up the playoffs? Well, all it does is add fuel to the homework assignment that was given to, you know, an, a handful of, of NHL general managers who are on the executive committee of general managers at the recent GM meetings in Florida. And we know that the takeaway assignment was – for that list of GMs to canvas all GMs around the National Hockey League as the season wrapped up and through the playoffs and into the offseason and bring it back to either the next time there's an NHL general managers meeting uh, or worst case, you know, it carries on for another 11 months and you bring it back to, if not breakout conversation, then the full group at the general managers meetings next March. Uh, and, And that's probably where we're at. You know, look, I at face value, it stinks. And I can understand why there are rumblings around the NHL. You know, and it's not just because it it's the Vegas Golden Knights. It's more than that. It's because it's Mark Stone in the Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah. This happened last year. There's a trend that's been established. Now there's a big but. But the Vegas Golden Knights cannot and have not broken any rules. They have not. I mean, the National Hockey League governs this very, very closely. It's not like, you know, the the medical people of the Vegas Golden Knights just declared that, okay, we've done the imaging. Your lacerated spleen looks good enough that we're going to clear you. Well, that's part of it, of (laughs) course. But the the NHL medical people would have been in lockstep with the Vegas Golden Knights all the way through the process. First, 
to get a look at the diagnosis, the prognosis, how long, and then there would have been check-ins from the NHL head office to the Vegas Golden Knights. Nobody was surprised by this. And according to the collective bargaining agreement, it is allowed. So unless they change it, and I believe they will change it in some capacity in the future, Vegas has done nothing wrong. And I can I, I can tell you one thing. You know who doesn't care at all about the noise around the NHL, including noise coming out of individual NHL clubs, is Kelly McCrimmon, the general manager, and his owner, Bill Foley. They don't give a rat's you know what. Yeah. About any of the noise. All they want to do is defend the Stanley Cup championship. That's all they want. Well, it's in Vegas is a very fascinating study because yes, uh, a week ago tomorrow, uh, Craig Button on the show basically said, yeah. I'm not buying them, man. I'm done. They've been man for five. However, you still see a lot of people like, you don't necessarily want to play the Golden Knights. I think what's going to have to happen here with the Golden Knights, though, Dregs, is they are going to straight up have to flip a switch. Like, Hurdle's just kind of getting back up. Stone will be back. They've been missing a bunch of guys. I don't think it's just, oh, everybody's healthy and they walk over everybody. Like, they're going to no. have to have some things go their way here. 100%. But it's plausible, though. Oh, not yeah. That they're going to walk over everybody. That's... That's ridiculous when you look at the Western Conference and, and how things match up there. And I, I would argue that the East is pretty strong as well when you look at Florida and the New York Rangers and you know the top teams that are making their way in the East. But, you know, again, I'm going to go back to not the recent GM meetings a year ago when, you know, we were having a conversation then with Kelly McCrimmon as to whether or not Mark Stone would be ready for the playoffs and he wasn't sure at that point. Well, that's well over a year ago, but he did describe, you know, Mark Stone as being the heart and soul of the organization. Well, that hasn't changed. So if Mark Stone can step into the lineup for game one, that's a significant shift for me. And based, based on what we've, we're, we've seen of late from Thomas Hurdle, who they acquired via trade from the San Jose Sharks, they're going to be a real tough out. They will be. And they've got the experience, which factors in. It really, truly does. But... I mean, man, Dallas is so good. Look what Winnipeg has been doing. Yeah. Dallas, yep. Colorado of late. There's going to be some terrific matchups. Yeah, Winnipeg's so, wild because they lost like six in a row. Yeah. And now they're just beating Colorado. Yeah. They're beating Dallas. Yeah. So, yeah. And shut them both out, too, yep. which is yeah. very impressive yeah. as well. So I'm sure Winnipeg, as a market, is just losing it right now. Uh, <laughs> all right. Before we let you go, we got to talk about the Coyotes here. How much money's going this way? How much money's going that way? And uh, this, boy, this is moving quick right now, isn't it, Drakes? It is. Uh, and interesting that we heard from the Marullo family on the weekend, but really Alex Sr. didn't say anything other than, you know, at some point in the near future, we are going to address all, most importantly, the community, the fan base, you know, the, the, the corporate people that have been supportive of the Arizona Coyotes. Um, it's not moving fast enough for other owners around the National Hockey League, guys. I can I can assure you of that. You know, other owners want the deal to close, whereby the NHL buys the Coyotes from the Marullo family and then sells to Ryan Smith uh, and Salt Lake City. They want that to happen yesterday, just to move on. And if you roll the dice and maybe five years down the road, Alex Marullo has a building built, and we're looking at Arizona again as an expansion property with Marullo coming back into the mix. I'm doubtful that that happens, but current owners are, okay, let's, we'll worry about that three, four, five years down the road. What we need to happen is to get the deal closed between the league and the Arizona Coyotes, because it's not just about the money, you know, the, the 1 billion that Marullo is going to get U.S., plus the relocation money that Ryan Smith is going to have to pay. It, you know, check with Winnipeg. It's not easy to relocate a team, jump through all the hoops, get everything in place that you need to get in place, and then, oh, by the way, you've got to put a hockey team on the ice. Here comes training camp. Here comes the regular season. Yeah. There's a whole lot of work that needs to get done in a short period of time. Well, the weird thing is for this team rolling in there, they're actually set up okay with the draft picks and everything that they have. Like, Not bad. If, yeah. if, and I, I saw something over the week, like they're going to spend money. So yeah. I, maybe it's a chance to actually get the franchise finally on track. I hope so for all the players. You know, Billy Armstrong is a, is a good general manager. We have no idea. We think we do, but we really don't. How much his hands have been tied behind his back in managing the Arizona Coyotes. And he's done a good job because it's not a salary cap world. Well, it is. 
for the Coyotes. It's getting the floor yeah. <laughs> of the salary cap that, that has been a major accomplishment for him, given the budget restraints that he's had. And, you know, how can you not be a fan of the Bear, Andre Turne, and some of the great player stories that they have? So, yeah, again, I always repeat myself. I don't cheer for teams. I normally cheer for individuals. And there's so many great individuals around the National Hockey League. And the Arizona Coyotes have a number of those guys. Players, coaches, management. They need that shot in the arm. And it looks like they're going to get it soon. Dregs, as always, man, we appreciate the time. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, thank you. There you go. Darren Dreger, Rain Dregs Podcasts. I find that on all of your podcasting platforms. Obviously, does great work over at TSN as well. And joins us every Monday here, brought to you by Pro-Am Sports. Uh, go check out. Look, it's it's that time. You want to add a new, new little addition? To the uh, to the man cave, the fan cave, or whatever. Well, for the for the, on the eve of the postseason, you might as well make yeah. that a tradition in your household. Every every you know week, last week of the regular season, treat yourself at Pro Am Sports. When we uh, when I worked in Fort Mac, me and my co host on the morning show up there, the the opening day, we'd go buy a New Jersey for baseball. Now I only worked there two years, so it didn't really become a tradition. But it was fun for two years. It was like a cool thing to do. Well, so what did, what did you? May I? Ask uh, what I'm trying the, to remember what, what I got. One of a couple Blue Jays jerseys, I guess. My Encarnacion, white and a blue. Like no, no, it wasn't Encarnacion. This is what the one. What would I have blues? gotten here? A black. <laughs> I have an Encarnacion jersey, but I wouldn't have got it when I was in. Was Fort it the Mac. Jays brand? Uh, one of them would have been the Black Jays. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah that yeah. Black, uh, no name, Black Jays jersey. Okay, all right. That yeah. is true, actually. I did get that one there. I can't remember what the other one was. Anyway, horrible story. Sorry about that, well, guys. Speaking of a good story, though, uh, just getting back to that Jets road trip that Huss was on to uh, down in Nashville. My be, God. Be, they go to the Minnesota, beat their the, 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 the rivals, they right? Hate in the, the wild. wild. They beat they the wild 4-2, but the rivals, right? They play oh, each other time. tough. Uh, they go down to Nashville, 4-3 over the Preds in overtime. High-flying Nashville Predators. And then shutting up the Stars in Dallas Thursday, 3 nothing, And shutting up the Avalanche in Colorado Saturday, 7 nothing. What a run after, as you mentioned, losing, what, six in a row prior? Yeah, they lost, they've won six, they lost six in a row, and people are like, what's going on with the Winnipeg Jets? Don't go worry about the Winnipeg Jets in the playoffs. And the Jets have just, they've just figured it out. Oh, yep, and now uh, they're going to have home ice probably in that series against Colorado. And a nice way to end the season tomorrow at home to the Kraken, and then Thursday against the, uh, the Canucks. They kind of got it uh, a little bit of space there in between. But, yeah, message sent, or maybe... You know, it's funny. You, you beat the Stars and the Avalanche like that. Is it a message sent or are these teams waiting? Like, ah, what is, it? is it a message or is it not? A right? game I, of cat and mouse. Who cares? Maybe it doesn't mean anything because it's regular season. Could that be what it is? Total opposite. If you're listening on iHeart or on TuneIn or at EdmontonSportsTalk.com, you can text us anytime, 780-218-9999. If you're watching on YouTube this morning, hammer that thumbs up for us. We are, uh, we're pacing towards 300 here by 730. So let's see if we can make that possible. Uh, if it is, I'll dive into the vault here when we come back from the uh, update at seven thirty. One eighty five. Well, well, we'll go. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll go. One of the top ten sounds from two thousand seventeen. I don't know what that would be. Can't wait. But uh, let, let me just let me just open up the two thousand seventeen top ten sounds. Maybe an old uh, playoff we'll anthem see. from years back. I mean, hey, that'd actually, be nice. you know what that would be? That would be the Rockstar playoff anthem. Remember Rockstar? By the, oh, I don't want to get. I know people have been churning out some good playoff stuff. I'm about 90% complete on a playoff song that I, writ- I wrote on Saturday night while I was watching the game. I think I think it'd be good. It's a it's a rock song. Like it's a pretty good. Dude, it's got a good beat to it too. Um, I, if, nah, 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 nah. That's how it That's, starts. Does anybody even know what that song is? Sounds nice though, doesn't it? Let's see. Let me see top ten sounds of 2000. I said 17, didn't I? Yeah. All right, Cassie and Goal song debuted in 2017. Sergio Dip. Remember? Dip. Here he is. Dip, dip. Having the time of his life. Uh, Gibby Huge, Smoke Home Run. Yeah, Rockstar Playoffs. We can definitely get to that. Trev, have you ever heard our playoff song? Nope. Rockstar? It's a good one. Maybe we run that back. If we hit 300 likes before 730. If we don't, it's a, it's a, is it a, it's a moot point. That's what it would be at that point. Jason in Leduc text in 780-218-9999 says, Give me an effing break. Stop assuming the NHL does any more due diligence other than accepting and processing some doctor's documentation. Vegas has a doc that they pay under the table or get free season tickets to that will write up any BS they need to circumvent the cap. It's Vegas, people. 
<laughs> I like Jason and LeDuc say, this is happening in Vegas. Do you know the types of things that happen in Vegas? That's kind of all you really have to come to the table with. For all we, all, for all we they know, are. they yeah. got Dr. Bloody Nick from Simpsons signing off on these things, man. Call this 1-900 number come and uh, on. you'll be all good. Like, Jason and LeDuc's pretty fired up. Some of you this morning, when you see Jason and LeDuc losing it on uh, on that situation right now. He's a man of the people! He's a man of the people! Send us your he's a man of the people texts to 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999. If you're wondering, hey, where's that clip from, guys? I just started listening. Quick reset, as they call it in the biz. Last night, NBA, this happened. Fans are getting excited here. There might potentially be some free chicken on the board if he misses the second free throw. Oh, man, free chicken on the board. Yeah, so that's why the fans are getting a little, little frothy. Oh, they're pointing to you. They almost play with the crowd. Say, you want chicken? Here's your job. Oh, he gave him chicken. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. He did that on purpose. He did. He gave out free chicken. First time I've heard of Bull Ben and since uh, John Wick killed him. Spoiler alert. First time I saw him since uh, Lord of the Rings. Man of the people. <laughs> He's a man of the people. That is your man of the people text messages to 780 You know what I find amazing is fans will pay 200 300 400 500 600 700 dollars to go to a sporting event. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, here's a $4 chicken sandwich. And they're like, yeah, we've done it. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you realize how much you paid for your seat? Is is a five dollar chicken sandwich really gonna change your life? And only if Buddy misses back to back free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, not, we're not just gonna give it to you for spending this. Yeah, schedule. nobody it's runs this promo when Shaq was in his only prime, conditions. Right? Yeah, that's just simply not going to uh, not gonna happen. Fried chicken on the board. Seven eight zero two eight eight ninety nine ninety nine is where you can get in on your. He's a man of the people. Text messages possibly get the mix for the A W text of the day. All right, let's get your cool bet hotline of the day today. Tough to dive into this without knowing exactly what's going to happen with uh, with Connor McDavid. Now, do you, do you sit Connor again tonight? Play him in one of the final two games of the season just to get him a game? I, I wouldn't play him against Santa. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we find out today, uh, McDavid's just going to take one more day. That's his call. It's, it's always his call. It's, it's, <laughs> Nobody knows the body of Connor McDavid. Like Connor McDavid himself. So it'll be his call on this thing. Maybe he's eyeing up revenge Wednesday night down in Arizona. Do we look... But This is something that we haven't done in a long time. Do we look past the Oilers and Sharks game? I am. And look somewhere else? I am. Like, just well, let's look, pick there's another a lot game. going on in the East. I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, lot still to be determined in the East. Bruins, Capital. Oh, Preds, Penguins tonight. Preds, Penguins, Caps, Islanders... All in action. Red Wings, Habs. Maybe a little something there. Detroit's got to yep. have that one, don't they? They need it. Big game for the Islanders as well. I'm still going to have an EST parlay on the uh, lock shop later today. But let's, uh, here's some, here's some, well, let's do this. Let's roll with my guy, my hero growing up as a child, Patrick Waugh. And the New York Islanders. Nothing game for the Devils. You can get the Islanders at minus 116. They are trying to hang on to third in the Metro right now. Three-point cushion, I think, on those teams at 87. I think they've got 90. This is a big game for the Islanders here. I'd expect them to kind of try to lock this thing down a little bit. Let's make that your cool bit hotline of the day. We just don't know about the Oilers. We don't know if McDavid, like, it's just, it's a risky proposition yep. to get into here. So You're going with your Aiden Hill in Patrick Waugh. My, my Aiden Hill. Patrick Waugh. And the New York Islanders, minus 116 on the road against the New Jersey Devils. That's a clincher. If the Islanders win that game, they clinch a playoff spot. So, yeah, Islanders, minus 116 on the road tonight against the New Jersey Devils. And New York, kind of like that Winnipeg thing for a bit, where Winnipeg had lost, what was it, six in a row? Yeah. The Islanders had been going well. Then they went on a pretty good slide, and they've salvaged things. As of late, New York Islanders in their last seven, 
six wins, and a shootout loss to the Rangers. So they've got points in seven straight. They've won seven of their last ten. They've got <laughs> points in eight of their last ten. The Devils, I mean, they just lost to Philly one nothing. And even like... You look at the you look at the amount of effort and work the Pens have been putting in recently down the yeah. stretch. The Flyers fell so much off, yet they're still, still just, lurking around. just hanging around, making it that much more difficult for their stately neighbors. But they should be out of this. They should be out of the mix. They shouldn't have been we should they have no business being where they are. They really don't. Yet they're still here. I don't I, do, I just do not Low want Tortorella well, that's in just the it. playoffs with it. like an underdog Philly team. Any of those teams, no, wings, caps, whatever. I'll, I'll take any. Thanks, but I'll pass. Uh, New York Islanders, minus 116, cool bed hotline of the day. Lock shop today, it'll be a Huss and P. Greggy to get you started on the lock shop today. We've got some business to take care of around here, but then I'll slide in on the second half of the lock shop today. Oil stream, game day oil stream with myself and uh, Tommy Gazzola today as well. Uh, all right, let's get to a sports update. We did surpass 300, so 2017 playoff song, taking you back to a good time. Taking you back to a good time. Uh, we will get it. Remember that? They hadn't been in the playoffs, like the decade of darkness. That 2017, man. that was a scene, man. Like, oh, what a good time we that were was. young. God, I must just, I spent every road game, I think I was at Cook. And then we went two rounds, but I think we were there every single road game. It was, oh, it was fun. That was a good time. All right, let's get to it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go start heating up some meatballs. <laughs> From uh, from Italian Center Shop. I can't believe this. Seven thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's an appetizer for the pizza that's going to be <laughs> delivered here around eight thirty this morning. Sports update with LT. Oilers and Sharks tonight down at Ice District as Edmonton will play out the remainder of the regular season this week. Tom Gazzola alongside YouTube Trev. They'll have your oil stream pregame show. It starts at 6 tonight here on Edmonton Sports Talk, the iHeart and TuneIn Radio apps, and as well on YouTube. Eight games around the NHL this evening, including the Kings at home to the Wild. Well, out east, the Penguins host Nashville. Islanders visit the Devils. Montreal are, at, are in Detroit, and the Capitals are at home to the Boston Bruins. Golden Knights yesterday would rally from three down in the third to knock off the Avalanche 4-3 in overtime. Also in overtime yesterday, Canada defeating the USA 6-5, capturing gold at the Women's World Hockey Championships. Edmontonian Danielle Serdakny with the overtime winner. Finland would edge out Czechia 3-2 in the bronze medal game. PWHL schedule will pick up Thursday with a pair of games. World number one, Scotty Scheffler pulling ahead with a great Sunday. He captured his second Masters title in three years. He finished with a four under 68. Tiger Woods would finish 16 over 304. Marks the highest 72-hole score of his career. Jays taking two of three from the Rockies over the weekend following yesterday's 5-0 shutout. Jays will host the Yankees for three beginning tonight when they send Chris Bassett to the mound. First pitch, 507. Canadian Shy Gilgis Alexander leading the OKC Thunder to a 135-86 victory of the Mavericks to secure top seed in the NBA's West. The play-in tournament begins tomorrow with the Lakers visiting the Pelicans and the Warriors in Sacramento to take on the Kings. Sports update brought to you by the great staff at Park Mazda and dealer principal Mitch Lewicki, where he's already had three meatball sandwiches this morning. If you're like me, you like to picture yourself in luxury, even though there's absolutely no way you could afford it. And if you can, well, even better. Thankfully, I picture myself in something that is luxury, but still absolutely affordable, like the all-new Mazda CX-90 from Park Mazda. With the new luxury features like facial recognition settings and quilted detail Napa leather seating, I can pretend to be comfortable with all of my proper settings activated without even touching a button, thanks to Mitch Lewicki and the great staff of Park Mazda. I like to picture Mitch Lewicki as a figure skater. He wears, like, a white outfit, and he does interpretive ice dances to my life's journey. Park Mazda, your dealer for life in Sherwood Park off Wild Road, Park Mazda. I'm through with watching a team that simply just can't win. It's time for the playoffs and the Oilers are in. Turns out this season was better than you thought it would be. Tell me what you got. They've got a brand new captain with a C on his chest. And around the league they know he's best. And if you don't agree with that, then you just made the list. Sorry, old dog. They've got a Goalie that has no limit Every single night the net he's in And he joined the 40 win club And Fuhrer said that's fine with me Been there, done that Sorry boys on the bus But they've got new stars Renamed 104th McDavid Boulevard Connor between Dry and Pat Maroon Is fine for me So tell me how they did it 
They made a trade some thought was lame But they picked up a loss and for what's his name Cause we all just wanna watch the playoffs And be down on white When the shirts come off The girls ain't easy and the drugs aren't cheap Can't go to the game, ticket price is too steep So we'll hang out at the coolest bars And drive around with flags on our cars Every bandwagon fan gonna play this song And cheer for Pisani cause they don't know he's gone Hey, hey, I wanna watch the playoffs Hey, hey, I wanna watch the Oh, that was always a good one. That 2017 run. Those damn ducks. Hey, ah, look at Corey Perry now. Unbelievable. Uh, I, what who, a twist. Who would have What a twist. Corey Perry is now an Edmonton Oiler. <laughs> get the, we got to get another one from, from Bruce over William Huff so he can come in after play. Bam, 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 bam. Can you hear that on there? Yeah, that's a nice little shuffle there. Um... All right, 780-218-9999, 780-218-9999. Uh, you're welcome to everybody on TuneIn, iHeart, or EdmontonSportsTalk.com. That song delivered to you today by the YouTubers, the Nasty Chatters, who pushes up at 3.30 right now, pacing nicely for maybe another little reward by the end of the show today. But we do have a busy one. Vegas keyword coming up here in about 10 minutes' time. I says pardon on the way as well. And uh, our meatballs might almost be ready. I'm heating up some meatballs from uh, from Italian Center Shop, and we're gonna make we're gonna make meatball subs this morning on the show for. Mm, that's good. And uh, oh, you hear that? Microwave beeping. Microwave beeping. Let's uh, let's load up some meatballs for the boys today. Uh, and these are great. You just swing into uh, these are like pre-packed, ready to go. Heat them up. Heat them and eat them. That's what, uh, I don't know if they told me that's a slogan, but that's a slogan now. Get your heat them and eat them meatballs at, uh, at Italian Center Shop. They hooked us up with some torpedo buns and then some provolone cheese. And we're going to put together a little uh, meatball sub here for, mmm, that's good. Uh, and I know, look, the segment, there we go. There we go. Let's let those bad boys cool down, eh? Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. How do they smell? How do they smell today? Mm, that's a good, hey, that's uh, that's delicious. The guy emailed the guy emailed Ryan over there. Email me, goes, hey, I think we're gonna go with meatballs. And I was like, what? I love meatballs. My sister's nickname for me for like a year and a half was Meatball because I love them so much. So we're gonna get into that here. Uh, I'm also gonna discuss this on him and let me have this. I know some of you are gonna be like, please get back to the Oilers not being able to beat the Vancouver Canucks. And, uh, you know, we will. I don't think it's that big of an issue, as we're going to discuss on ISIS Pardon coming up here as well. But uh, LeBron James. LeBron James has just wrapped up year 21 in the NBA, averaging 25-plus points, 8-plus assists, and 7-plus rebounds this season. I think this is there was a bunch of stats coming out of this game yesterday, out of this season. That are very impressive, but how about this? Seasons in the NBA averaging 25 points per game, six rebounds, and six assists. LeBron has done it 20 times consecutively. Everyone else in the league combined since the merger with the ABA have done it 27 times. Every single other player combined has averaged 25, 6, and 6 27 times. LeBron has done it for 20 consecutive seasons. Like, I know you might not like the guy, but you got to respect that. That's insane. It's absolutely insane what he's done at this stage of his career. And shot the three ball better than Steph this year, if you can believe that as well. The greatest shooter of all time. So, oh, also led the league in fourth quarter field goals this year. So one of the most clutch players in the league as well. And it's funny how it's going to uh, shape up here. Play in if season. If they beat the Pelicans. If. They get the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy. Well, they're going to win. Uh, they're going to they're gonna beat the Pelicans. Then they get the Denver Nuggets in a rematch of last year's Western Conference, uh, yeah. Western Conference final. All right, so let's, uh, let's, make, some, let's make some meatball uh, subs here, shall we? Anyway, I know some of you want to react to that. 780-218-9999. I'm just saying, 
that when his greatness is no longer here, you're all going to be like, damn, I should have respected him more at the time. Dusty. Should have listened to Dusty. Right? Well, you should have. That's what they're going to be saying. It's that simple. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slice this bad boy in half here, Rick. And then use the cheese. Tommy's going to kill us. If Tommy saw this, he desk can't. Right now, no, just redact the whole segment yeah. for Tommy. Although the meatball sandwich might uh, might get him over the line, like I think a mess with a meatball sandwich from the Italian center might be a uh, here. Right, you get a plate there. There you go. There. Oh, that would have helped. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. There you go. <laughs> Real messy here. Yeah, I have just, to vacuum after. Oh, yeah. All right, so there we go. Did you bring us? Oh, we got a spoon for it's scooping. There, yeah, We're making our own um, meatball sandies here today from. Look at this. Look at that. Like a sandwich, Trevor. Trevor, you want to come over and slice up a bun? Saving room for some pie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's the provo? Where's the? Oh, there. Oh. You want one, Trev? Yeah, Trev wants one. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll snag oh, one. Oh, look at this. Look at this slab of cheese. Look at this. This is like if you were uh, trading cheese for spices back in the day. All right. Oh man, you could almost silence the lambs. This thing, right? Isn't that what they do? All right, let's jam this. Can we make one for Tommy or what? Uh, <laughs> well, we'll save one for Tommy. Tommy will be here when that pizza arrives a little later on. I'm going to throw that in there right now. So you just pick up these meatballs in this convenient little case here. Look, just like this. Just like that. Yeah. Swing into Italian Center Shop. Pick up the braised meatballs. Sugo di pomodo. I don't know what that means. All right, here we go. Oh, here, cheese. Oh, Come baby, cheese, get boys. some cheese in there. Get some yeah. cheese, get get some cheese in, in there. there. Yeah. That's the provolone. All right, let's go. Let's go. Got it in you? Oh, my God. Come on. That's delicious. This puppy here. They've done it again. Give me it. That cheese is good. I'm just going to straight up eat that cheese now. All that right. cheese is delicious. Tuck in. Get one of those meatballs up in you. That's what we're talking about. Woo! You know what this is great for? This is great for your crew. It's obviously great for your family. Swing by Italian Center Shop. Oh, Trev's getting that extra sauce on there and everything. This guy has made a meatball sub before. You can tell that. Look at that thing. Mmm, that's good. Italian Center Shop. All they do is deliver. It's just that good. Rob Crosby says, this is good TV, boys. Wow. It's probably better YouTubing than it is for you, those of you listening right now and tuning in our iHeart. But um, we're not, I'm, look, we're not messing around here. Heat them and eat them. Grab these meatballs. And you can do whatever you want with them. They, you want to mix them into pasta, you can do whatever you want with them. We have, you know what I would do, especially if I was single? I just get this heated up and just sit there and eat all of the meatballs. Melt a little bit of this provolone right over top of that thing. Boom. Delicious. Absolutely delicious.
we're good. Aha! We are back. I don't know what happened. Back for the chewing sounds on the mic. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> we got back in time for the chewing sounds on the mic. I don't know what happened, but our board just like died on us there for a second. Anyway, we're good. And uh, the meatballs are delicious. I, I like Dudley wow. who texts in and goes, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm getting no sound from the audio. That's uh, That wasn't just you. No sound. We are back. And no, no meatball fell. I think it was just a coincidence. The meatballs didn't have anything to do with the sound being lost. It was just a coincidence. They were so damn good. Maybe maybe the uh, EST gods knew that us chewing on the air wasn't great. And they're like, enough. Board's out. And now it's back. Well, maybe just a little lesson, yeah. But, I mean, I look, I never thought of this as a play. You can get the pizzas there. You can get them new. You can make your own. Yeah. You can buy the paninos. I never thought about the meatball sandwich. Yeah, it's, I, it's, it's a game changer. Again, put the put the tray of meatballs in your fridge. Let them sit there all week. You hit it. I mean, if you were living alone, if you were kind of like right. bachelor lifestyle, I would just look. You take, Trev, you take one of these provolones, two slices of those, put them on top here, heat on. it up. Yeah. Are you kidding me? That'd be absolutely delicious. You want a little lasagna there? Uh, all right, let's get to our EST flyway keyword. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get enough of this. Uh, this yeah, shaker here, man. Like all right, it is the EST Flyway to Vegas. Teaming up with our great partners down at Fly YEG. Another one? What, another one? Another one of these? No, I'm going to save room for that pizza later, too. So, no, we're, we're good. We're good. Uh, all right, let's get to the EST Flyway keyword. This is the second final week of qualifying. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. Hello Hockey on the 20th. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And then we give away this trip on Friday. We give away this trip next Friday. Not this Friday. Next Friday, somebody's going to win a trip to Vegas with us and our partners at Fly YG and the LVCVA. Listen four times a day to get the uh, keyword. Two nonstop flights, three nights accommodations, tickets to a Cirque show, presented by Fly YG and the LVCVA. Nonstop flights over 50 destinations. Your sports trip starts with a nonstop flight from Fly YEG. Here we go. Today's keyword is Hoover. Text Hoover right now to 780-218-9999, 780-218. 9999 text Hoover in. That's H O O V E R. H O O V E R. Text Hoover to 780 218 There we go. Hoover is a keyword. Trev, you are loving this, uh, this meatball uh, sub from uh, Town Center Shop, aren't you? Look at this guy over here. It, um, yeah, like it reminds me exactly of, sorry, I got a mouthful here, um, my Nono's um, no. meatballs. Yeah, 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 exactly, and like true Italian, so this is like, yeah, it, it's so good. You're loving it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. All right, Hoover, good thing we got the audio back up. Hoover is your keyword at 780-218-9999. Text Hoover to 780-218-9999, and we will... Uh, Call one of you in about, I don't know, five, six minutes. Oh, the Trev finishes uh, his uh, homemade pizza sub over here, and then, then we'll give somebody a call. Brett B. is in and says, the next keyword will be Dyson. No, but if you think, you'll probably be able to guess the next keyword. Well, another chance to come up with a keyword on the Hangout today. Lock Shop and Oil Stream. Also with keywords today, as uh, Maddie Awanek grinding, trying to trying to finish strong here. Seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. Text Hoover to that number right now, and you will go into the mix for a chance to win a trip for free to Vegas. Trev, did you get meatball sub on your blue hoodie over there? Okay, good. He survived. 
He survived. All right, let's get into I says pardon for Lawyer Central, lawyer-central.com slash pardons. Uh, but they don't just do pardons. They do everything else that you would possibly need help with as well. Give them a call, one 288 8177 1-888-8177-www.lawyer-central.com. They've got lawyers all across the country to help you. And I am going back around here to the, uh, to the Oilers Canucks. And uh, I don't know if you want to call it fallout after that game. But in my quick three thoughts after that game, I did say that I would still take the Edmonton Oilers in a series against the Vancouver Canucks. Okay. And you would have thought people saw that and looked at me like I had a, a third arm growing out of my neck. Well, the body was still warm. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, but, uh, like uh, yeah. it was funny because I had somehow fired up both Oilers and Canucks fans. <laughs> I, I, I says, pardon? Like you, do, like, you honestly don't believe the Edmonton Oilers could beat the Vancouver Canucks. In a playoff series. Like, people are like, Dusty, it'll never happen. The Canucks just swept them in the season series, and, uh, like, that actually means something. Come on. Now, I said I would be confident that the Edmonton Oilers will win that series. I'm sure other people think Vancouver would be confident that they'll win that series, which is totally fine. I mean, it would be a great series. It could end up being a bit of a coin flip. But I'm taking the Edmonton Oilers in that series right now. If that series ends up happening... And unless there's a significant injury in the first round for either team either way, my pick is the Edmonton Oilers over the Vancouver Canucks. And I could not believe the amount of people, even Oilers fans, who are like, Dusty, you're nuts. Did you not watch tonight's game? You're basing a Saturday night, like a game in the regular season, on how you think an entire playoff series is going to go. A game in which they didn't have Demko, but the Oilers didn't have Connor McDavid in, for goodness sakes. So, I mean, pick the Canucks. Go ahead, pick the Canucks. Some people will pick the Oilers. But to think that I was, like, making this bogus claim of something that's impossible to happen, I thought that was a little weird to me. It was a little I, Canucks fans obviously coming at me being like, you damn Edmonton homer. How dare you think that that would happen? I'd be like, well, I mean, let's see how it plays out. And, and, and then I had Oilers fans being like, you know, classic moments after a loss. Oilers fans, devastated, end of the world. Had some of those guys coming at me being like, sorry, Dusty. Those are, the, those are the guys who don't like Ken Holland's deadline and are just waiting for them to lose so that they can go after the organization. But it's been a funny season series, would you not agree? In which they opened this season with those losses. Mm -hmm. And as we say, it was the prior Knobloch era. Was, those mean this is a different absolutely team. nothing. Right. Those two games to start the season, 8-1 and a 4-3. You then lose November 6th, 6-2 to the Canucks out in Vancouver. You haven't played them since then. That was still Woody? That was still just prior to him being dismissed. So those three games prior to Knobloch, again, as we discussed, different time. And what seems like many moons ago, again, on a November 6th, fast forward to Saturday, a 3-1 loss. Without um, McDavid. Without McDavid. And, and which, again, looking not at the score, but a 3-1 loss in which there was an empty net goal and, and a pretty tight affair throughout. So if you're just going by the games pre-Knobloch... In, in the early days of the season where the Oilers weren't even in, in a spot to contend for the Cup. <laughs> Mind you, the postseason? Um, maybe, but but times have changed and time moves on. And and so I think, like, Saturdays, I, I'd, I'd chalk that up as a bit of progress, to be honest with you, compared to where they were at the beginning of the season. So well, I think that's fine. Heading into a postseason minus McDavid and, and coming up a goal short in, in an empty net 3-1 uh, affair. So apparently I was way off base to say I think the Oilers have beat the Canucks in a series in which they have not yet even played head-to-head -head with McDavid and Knobloch on, on, on the bench. And maybe if you don't, if you don't want to give Knobloch the credit, post-Manson defensive, whatever it is. But yes, the new era of what the Oilers are this season and, and with a healthy McDavid. It'd be Why a, not? It'd be a good series. I'm not, I didn't, like, people are acting like I went online after the game on Saturday Oilers night, and sa it said, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, <laughs> you know what? The Canucks may have swept them, but it's going to be the Oilers who are doing the sweeping in the playoffs. That's not what I said. I said I take the Oilers in that series. Nothing that happens between then and now outside of McDavid being a, like hurt in the first round of the playoffs, and they still somehow get to the second round of the playoffs. Nothing's going to change my mind on that. I make the same damn prediction if these two teams do meet in the first round of the playoffs. And I'm going to throw this out there as well. I think there's a better chance the Oilers are in the second round of the playoffs than the Canucks are in the second round of the playoffs. There. Maybe I'm starting to get a little fired up now, but um, the Canucks are going to have their hands full with the Nashville Predators, and the Oilers are going to have their hands full with whoever um, 
whoever they like. But if you were to go look at the odds, I bet you the Oilers' odds against the Kings will probably be greater than the Canucks' odds against the Preds if those series do end up getting locked in. So uh, the Edmonton Oilers have a really good shot at taking down the Vancouver Canucks if they meet. You want to spin it the other way? You could definitely do that as well. But for fans to be so brokenhearted after Saturday night's loss without Connor McDavid in the lineup, a game that came down to an empty netter, I mean, I think you just got to pump the brakes on the panic after a loss to the Vancouver Canucks. It could go either way. Saying the Oilers will win that series, that's not crazy. Saying the Canucks will win that series, that's not crazy. It's going to be a great series, but to, to freak out and be like, did you not watch the season series? Yes, I watched the season series. And nothing I saw in the season series will actually be anything that comes up in the regular in the, in the postseason. I watched three losses with Woodcroft, and I watched a loss without Connor McDavid. So none of that matters right now. I look at the Edmonton Oilers doing what they've done since they turned their season around saying, I think they would beat the Vancouver Canucks in that situation. DL says, no Demko in net either. Yeah, but here's the thing. Casey DeSmith went full Demko in that game. The Smith in the first period was amazing. So, I like, Demko is by far better than Casey DeSmith. But I'm not sure Demko is better than the Superman Casey DeSmith that we saw on Saturday night. So, yeah. 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999 is where you can uh, chime in if you would like to. Uh, and hammer the thumbs up over on YouTube as well. 14 away from a 400 first two hours. So that's uh, putting us on a nice pace the rest of the way. Guys, remember a few years ago when the Oilers swept the Jets in the regular season and then the Jets swept the Oilers in the playoffs? Once the playoffs start, you throw out the regular season results. Well, the results, sure, but there are a few things to take, I'm sure, from regular season matchups that the, that the coaching staff will use. I just when 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 those first three against the Canucks were so early in the season, if this season series was kind of sprinkled generously throughout and it gave you a good benchmark on certain times of the year, yeah. But guys, as an Oilers supporter watching that Saturday game, did you really watch that and think Knobloch was coaching that game all out to win? The Carrick line was out against Pedersen's line and to boot the Kulak pairing wasn't a one off either. Knobs just rolled the lines. So thinking it didn't even really coach the way that you would coach them uh, in the postseason as well. So yeah, on Twitter of all places, hey, that's kind of what we're all. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that you, uh, yeah, you post up little... with a thought and then? Uh, yeah, I know. Well, I didn't like when I posted. It, I was like, I didn't even think twice. I wasn't like, oh man, I wonder if people are gonna come yeah, in and be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. do you even watch hockey, bro? You weren't rubbing your. Did palms you not together, see what happened here? <laughs> I even I, then I saw some people come back. I was like, "What's going on?" Like picking the Oilers to beat the Canucks in a series if they meet is a crazy is a crazy thing. Breaking news: It's not. Your reaction to the Paris Jewelers inbox at seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. Trev, do we have a uh, call a qualifier? <laughs> Trev, Trev had completely forgotten about the qualifier. Meatball, We're going to call a qualifier coming up, and uh, best of luck to everybody. Trev is about to find the random number right now. Give them a call, and you do want to pick up the phone, okay? If you do not pick up the phone, we are simply moving on to the next one. We do not have the time to call you a second time. We will just move along, and you'll be devastated for the rest of your days. So you definitely don't want that. Yeah. And if your phone fell between the seats in your vehicle, get it now. Secure it. Yeah, after you text that, you want to pull over and, uh, and yeah. do that as well. Guys, I don't think Vancouver makes it out of round one. But if they do, I think the season sweep makes them cocky. And they come in thinking it'll be easy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that either, though. Hey, I don't think I, talk it will. I don't, I don't think anybody. You shouldn't. Like, no, no NHL team, especially in the West this year. After everything we've talked about with you know with the way Nashville's playing and I don't love the Kings goaltending, but you could say that all you could I would say six teams in the West are legitimate Stanley Cup contenders. Six and a half with respect to Nashville and what they've done in the second half of the season. 
So why would any of those teams, regardless of their matchups during the regular season, why would any of those teams go into the playoffs thinking this can be an easy series and take that team lightly? I just don't see this is not this is not the New York Rangers getting the Philadelphia Flyers yeah. in the first round of the playoffs out east or something along those lines. Well, really any of like, those teams that might creep into that wild card too. You don't think that yeah. they're gonna have the, the power and the might to to move forward, but yeah, no easy out. And if you are thinking that or it crosses your mind, you might be uh you might be golfing sooner than sooner than you had imagined. 780-218-9999. Jason LeDuc says, Dusty, when he's on X, trying to soothe anxious, butthurt Oilers fans. Oh, man of the people clip. I mean, definitely definitely bring back that back around. That's how you're going to get in the mix for text of the day today, I think, for A&W right here. Text us for this clip right here. He's a man of the people! He's a man of the people! That's what you're gonna get. That's what you're gonna get. Seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. One of those men of the people. Ryan Rashog is gonna be by around eight thirty today. Third hour is gonna be a big one. Literally, kind of easy trivia for Mister Mike's. Three questions too many for Park Mazda. Adding an eight thirty sports update to the rotation now which will be brought to you by Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria. And we are expecting a delivery from Big Mama's and Papa's coming up shortly here in hour number three. Oh they are opening today here in Edmonton, their first location. And there will be more to come, but their first location, 12848 97th Street. 12848 97th Street. More details but you can visit www.bmpp.ca for more info on the, the newest kid on the pizza scene. They got some grand opening offers here as well. How about this one? 50% off a 14-inch large pizza with one topping, $11.24 for a 14-inch large pizza, $11.24, www.bmpp.ca. Very interesting. I loved... Isn't that not exciting trying new pizza for the oh, first especially time? Especially when it's in the name. Like it's not just like, hey, buddy's pizza place. Yeah, it's yeah. big. Big mamas and papas. It's a little something else. Pizzeria. All right, who's our uh, qualifier today, Trev? Today we have Kevin on the line. All right, let's go to Kevin. Kevin, you are one step closer to going on an EST flyway down to Sin City. Hi there. This is Tango. Tango. How are you, Tango? Good, good. Tango, have you been to Vegas? Yeah, I've been there a couple times. Okay, what's your favorite thing about Vegas? Oh, I don't know. Probably show, the shows, ah, I guess. Okay, lots of good shows down there, isn't there? Yeah. All right, Tango, who would you bring with you if you win this trip, buddy? Oh, I'd have to bring my fiance. I don't think I'd have a choice. Oh, oh. okay. Well, it sounds like you're excited to get married. Best of luck. Yeah, no problem. All right, see you later, man. There you go. That is Kevin. Kevin, congratulations. Oh, that was Kevin. Hello. This is Tango. Like, what'd you do with Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I qualified for the BAM! This yeah. is Tango. Eh? Uh, do people call you Kevin or is there another name? This is Tango. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks, man. Tango, best of luck, dude. Tango text in and stuff. Good luck, Tango. Tango's one step yep. closer. Your next chance to qualify coming up on the, uh, the hangout today with Maddie and Tommy. And I think the Merman's in. Murray McCourt, nice. who's somewhere right now is deadlifting stones. He's going to be in on the uh, the hangout a little bit later on today. All right, if you want to play kind of easy trivia, we got that Mr. Mike's gift certificate just sitting there waiting for you. Fire us a text. Let Trev know right now. 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999. Let Trev know that you want to play kind of easy trivia this morning. One of you are going to win a gift certificate to Mr. Mike's Steakhouse Casual. 780-218-9999. Ryan Rashog, an orange and blue breakfast. Three questions too many. Kind of easy trivia. And our first ever slice from Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria. All coming up here in hour number three. Let's get to a sports update for Claiborne Services. If you're looking for work, you found it. ClaiborneServices.com. Eric's got more on that.
Game day as the Oilers and Sharks get set to tangle down at Rogers Place tonight. Tom Gazzola alongside YouTube Treb. They'll have your oil stream pregame show. Coverage starts at 6 here on Edmonton Sports Talk, the iHeart, and TuneIn Radio apps, and as well on YouTube. Eight games in total around the NHL later tonight. Yesterday was the Golden Knights rallying from three down to knock off Colorado 4-3 in overtime. Also in overtime, Canada capturing gold at the Women's World Hockey Championships. They defeat the USA 6-5. Edmonton's Danielle Serdakny with the overtime winner. Finland would edge out Czechia 3-2 in a shootout for the bronze. The PWHL schedule will resume Thursday with a pair of games. World number one, Scotty Scheffler pulling ahead with a great Sunday. He captured his second Masters title in three years, finishing with a 4 under 68. Tiger Woods finishing 16 over 304. That's the highest 72-hole score of his career. Blue Jays taking two of three of the weekend from the Rockies following yesterday's 5-0 shutout win. Jays remain at home. They'll host Yankees for three beginning tonight when they send Chris Bassett to the mound. First pitch, 507. NBA regular season wrapping up yesterday. The OKC Thunder capturing top seed in the West with a 135-86 win over Dallas. Playing tournament will begin tomorrow with a pair of games. Lakers visit the Pelicans, and the Kings are at home to the Golden State Warriors. Sports update for Claiborne Services. Take your career to the next level with Claiborne Services. They are hiring all positions, including journeyman bricklayers and apprentices of all levels. Take advantage of their outstanding mentorship program and work with peace of mind knowing they are an industry leader in safety. For more, visit www.claiborneservices.com or make it easy and give Jeff a call 780-910-6728. Got a big shot off this stick of mine. I keep those lanes wide open all the time. Dry sidle setting up shop, McDavid's flying. I'll hit the twine when I walk the line. Sure is new, G is slick and Kane is tough We're going all the way this year, enough is enough And we can play them straight or we can play them rough I'm feeling fine when I walk the line You know I shoot that buck so very, very hard The name on the back of my jersey says Bouchard And we're gunning for first place, not a wild card I'll hit the twine when I walk the line Get real when they drop that puck And we won't be done until we hoist the cup I'll hit the twine when I walk the line mm-hmm. ah, What's going on everybody? Uh, thank you very much for being here. Uh, we appreciate it. EvansSportsTalk.com Tune in iHeart, a bunch of different ways that you can consume the show this morning. Of course, over on YouTube as well. And uh, hammer the thumbs up for us. We've surpassed 400, and we are pacing nicely as we continue to work our way through the show. Uh, Ryan Rashog is going to join us just after 8.30 this morning as well. And we'll get to a few more of your questions. If you have any questions for three questions too many, feel free to fire those over to the Paris Jewelers inbox and, and keep those. He's a man of the people text rolling in because uh, one of you, is going to win the text of the day for a and by hitting us up with your best man of the people clip. Let's go. He's a man of the people. He's a man of the people. What do you got? I like the one Tommy in the press box. Like Trev said, Tommy in there, hey, what's going on, everybody? He's like Norman Cheers, right? Like, He's a man of the people. A man of the people. Keep those, uh, keep those rolling in. 780-218. 
$99.99. And uh, yeah, hammer the thumbs up over on YouTube. Takes you less than a second. Doesn't cost you a thing and helps support us in a big way. All right, who's playing kind of easy trivia today, buddy? Jamie's going to give it a go. Jamie's going to play today, trying to get his hands on a gift certificate to Mr. Mike's Steakhouse Casual, the casualest place ever. They got 6 o'clock or lager in the house. No big deal. Hampton Inn on the corner of 137th Ave and Mark Messier Trail. He will need to get three out of five correct to win that gift certificate to Mr. Mike's. Let's go to Jamie this morning. Jamie, you ready to roll? Let's do it. All right, here we go. I'll start the ticker. I have to read the first question. Good luck, man. Thank you. Who did the Oilers lose to on Saturday? Vancouver. What position does Casey DeSmith play? Uh, goalie, I think. I forgot. Scotty Scheffler won what event yesterday? The Masters. What color of jacket do you get if you win the Masters? Green jacket. What color was the winning jacket in Happy Gilmore? Gold jacket. Yeah! Green jacket. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Oh, my God. Damn it, Shade, stop it! They are going to remember that AM radio is a viable and modern source for news and entertainment. Totally. People don't listen to AM like they used to. Seems like it's more about FM and color TV. That's stupid. It sure is, Kevin. I'm stoked. You stoked? I'm stoked. Just I'm so stoked. stoked. You yeah. cannot come to my house. No, 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 not today. You cannot come to my house. No, 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 not today. Monday morning, Club Beat Loop. Beautiful job, well done. Excellent answer there at the end, too. He even said the S word. I know, eh? Yeah, green jacket, Beep. gold jacket, green jacket. Who gives a... I'm actually... Get, I, I know a lot of these, like, long-term sequels. You're like, ah, But I'm getting excited for Happy Gilmore, too. I just think Sandler does it right. I don't think he's. there's any way he would allow... This movie to come out a dud. I know it's a long ways away, but uh, yeah. I hope we're still sitting here in the morning and being like, hey, I'm going to see Happy Gilmore 2 tonight. That'd be, uh, be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? And like his latest dud. What was the, his latest dud? Which one was that? He's the, uh, the astronaut or whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't watch all of them. No? But I rewatch. Uh, what's the basketball one? I just re Hustle. It's Space Hustle, Man, Hustle yeah. was great. Space Man. Hustle was outstanding. He's had some good. He's had some good ones. Oh yeah, no, they're they're not all grand. Slams. But he's not gonna he's not gonna screw up Happy Gilmore two. I just I don't see a world where Happy Gilmore two comes out and you're like, this is awful. Sandler's a joke. I just I they don't. Better, think they that better happens. not. They damn well better not. Fingers crossed, I guess. Ryan Rashad coming up in just after 20 minutes from now. Orange and Blue Breakfast from Mobile One to get you set for the Oilers and the San Jose Sharks tonight. You can text us anytime. Paris Jewelers inbox at 780-218-9999. And we are coming at you from the uh, Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen studio where they've dropped their new buffalo chicken wrap and the buffalo poutine as well kicking out there. Uh, yeah, I've only got this show and tomorrow's show, then I'm out of here. We've not mentioned this yet. We were I wasn't saying anything about it because we were gonna surprise the kids. But on Wednesday, we're out of we're flying out and we are going to, we're taking the kids down to Legoland and SeaWorld. And we planned this trip. And then I was like, Oh, we should go to a Padres game too while we're down there. I wonder who's in town. And sure enough, the Blue Jays are actually down there when we're there. You got it. So we're going to go to a baseball game as well. So we surprised the kids yesterday morning with the, with the news. We had like a little scavenger hunt around the house. They had to, there's eight different places they had to go. And they got like a little clue and a letter at every spot. And then they had to take the eight letters and kind of spell where they were going. And man, when they, when it finally clicked, they, they got Lego pretty Wordle, quickly. Eh? They're like Lego. And then they had the A and D and L still sit over there. They're like Lego. <laughs> they're looking at it. They're like Lego Deno. I was like, no, try again. Okay, you're getting warm. L Lego Adlo. No, try again. And eventually they get, they lay it out. They lay out land. They're like, huh? Lego Land. And then Marshall goes, oh, Lego Land. <laughs> and it's just like they're obsessed with Lego, the Ninjago stuff right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're, we're I'm taking off. I'm gonna miss the first game at least. 
of the playoffs, but this is a great time for us to get down yeah, there. Don't so. pull the old Dave Jamison from a few postseasons. I was past. slightly worried about that. Well, hey, that, that happens. But, I mean, you uh, you will be excited for Legoland, I, I'd assume, as well. Maybe not as much as the children, but, uh, yeah, Jays Padres, Saturday, April 20th. That's six, the one we're going to. 640, first pitch. 640. I was, I was thinking maybe you have a, uh, where is it, the Sunday 210, maybe a bit of a matinee. Yeah. Uh, uh, but could have done that. Well, that's going to, we're going to try to hit up a beach that day. Okay. And then hit the game. I like it. So Saturday evening. Saturday San Saturday Diego, will be there. And actually, for watch for the Nielsen family because be. <laughs> we're like five rows up behind the Jays dugout. Oh, no way. So if you get any shots of the Jays dugout, you might see Marshall and the Muzz lurking around there. I just want you full Costanza, maybe. Going to town on like an ice cream. Or oh, like yeah. <laughs> going on a dog. <laughs> you know? Who's this man? And it's just, <laughs> you know, middle of the fifth, something like that. And that would uh, that would suck. But yeah, to me. we try to go on one family trip a year. CFL season's not that far away, so uh, well, basically what, my, what we always do, my whole tradition is I, I'm away at Christmas to do the Spengler, um, and that sucks. It's great, great tournament, but it sucks being away at Christmas. So then I take some of the money that we make there, and uh, we go on a trip to make up for it. So, yeah, we're going to go. Has anybody been to San Diego? Anybody who goes to San Diego, like Maddie's been to San Diego a couple times. Anybody who goes to San Diego says San Diego's absolutely awesome. So pretty excited about uh, hitting up San Diego. And apparently there's Top Gun merch down there. So I'm coming back with a yeah. Top Gun hoodie no matter what. A downtown ballpark too, hey? Which should be, uh, should be a lot of fun. Surveyor Brett says EST hat on a Jays broadcast for sure. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're doing a couple days at Legoland, a couple days at SeaWorld. I went to SeaWorld when I was like 15. My parents took us down there. And now SeaWorld is like rides and roller coasters. And I don't even know if you see orcas and dolphins anymore. EST hat, maybe those U of A track pants as well. Hey, that'd the be green the, track the full, pants. The full ensemble. Those will not be, it up the, at the ball game. Those will not be packed. <laughs> I guarantee Tam does not allow those into my bag. So, yeah, so I'm going to miss game. Well, it'll depend on the schedule. Yeah. They're going to start either Sunday or Monday, I would think. Yeah. Uh, so, miss for sure game one. We'll see what the uh, schedule is like for. Uh, for game two. Mike, it says San Diego Zoo is awesome. Also, I see uh, Dusty Children's Museum downtown San Diego is a must, too. Oh, Children's Museum? What's a, what's in a children's museum? Like, just all things about famous kids? Lego. Or is it, like, things kids like in a museum? Maybe there's two wings. Maybe one wing is about, like, Macaulay Culkin <laughs> and uh, who's Curly Sue. And who's the girl and Annie? Like all those little An entire kids. Entire wing dedicated to McCall. Anakin Skywalker, and then the other wing is things kids like maybe in the museum. Who knows? But if you have any tips, now that I can talk about it because the kids know, uh, fire them over to seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. All right, let's get into three questions too many for the great staff at. Park Mazda, Lieutenant Eric, do you have a liner for the segment today? Three questions too many brought to you by the great staff at Park Mazda, where dealer principal Mitch Lewicki hands out a blue jacket to the uh, dealership's <laughs> top seller every single year. Park Mazda, your dealer for life. <laughs> the coveted blue blazer. But it's not like a great looking blue blazer. It's, no. it's really bright. It's durable. Though. Nobody wants it. Lots of pockets. He's been wondering why sales have been down. Nobody wants it, man. Avoiding the blue blazer. Yeah. <laughs> Check them out today. Parkmazda.ca, your dealer for life. Do you have a Twitter account? At Lieutenant underscore Eric. You can follow on Twitter uh, as well on Instagram at Lasagna Enthusiast. And give our uh, station accounts a follow here as well at YEG Sports Talk on Twitter, Edmonton Sports Talk on the Instagram, and on the TikTok. Dean is in, says San Diego, the most beautiful city in America. What? Oh, it's. Holy smokes. I've been to Philly. A definitive opinion. <laughs> Philly is not. No. Uh, all right, here we go. Question number one. Eh? This is almost for like any sport, but let's get into it. I think this is an Oilers-based question, but uh, how important do you guys think momentum is heading into the playoffs, and are you concerned about the Oilers right now? How important is momentum? Yeah. yeah. Six, seven? I think, I think also that's that's pretty significant. I think, I think there's an importance to it, but I don't think it's the be all end all. And I think if you have a, a team littered with talent and skill, and you're up there, I mean, they, I think momentum for a team maybe in a wild card position and kind of having to play yourself in certainly want to ride the fumes of that, and maybe that kind of you know eases things off in terms of going up against a giant a one two seed or something like that. But 
I'd say it's, it's definitely something. I don't think it's for this Oilers team. I don't think momentum is, is hugely important. I think they know what they can do on their day. As echoed, as I said, from Vincent Deherney's words, saying they're the best team in the league. They could beat anybody. It's just in terms of putting it together and playing for a full series. Um, and the second part of that was... Just said, are you concerned? concerned? Like, no, I'm not concerned. No. Like, I don't think you can be... There's three games left. Well, point is, in the, what, what, what would be the concern? Uh, McDavid's health? Well, I, not, I, like, I, what, I think this person's jumped to conclusions. Like, if the Oilers lost their next three games and had lost five in a row well. going into the playoffs, then there'd be a discussion about, ooh, are you at all concerned? But there's still three games left. Yeah. They're probably going to win one or two of them. Which is fine. So yeah. So I don't think I don't. If they think take we, one of the three this week. Would you? Yeah. Be, that, that's not a concern heading into. The so if they go maybe. one and four down the stretch heading into the playoffs. No, I don't. Uh, Trev, would you be concerned about that if they go one and four in their last five games? I, I don't think that would be ideal. But I mean, they went into last year's playoffs with a nine-game heater and right. they lost their first game. So yeah, like I, I definitely think like. It's it's something to to be worried of. You know, you got to be hot. Coming in hot, I think would help. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's where I'm going with that. I don't I don't know, Dusty. I'm trying to figure yeah. trying to figure out. Like I'm I'm on the fence. I don't I'm know. I'm working on it, Dusty. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna answer here. Uh, this text is in seven eight zero two and eight ninety nine ninety nine. Paris Jewelers inbox. Go see our friends at PJ's. Uh, at ParisJewelers dot com. Guys, I think momentum is kind of important, but not as important as adversity. And being able to overcome that right before the playoffs. So, yeah. I mean, that's... Like, do you want to be the Jets as, as to where they are right now? It's a good thing to overcome that But the Jets did go through slide. their slide, right? Like, I know, they went through the slide, but yeah. are, they, are they coming out of that adversary too soon? No, the Jets might have timed their six-game slide perfectly. Just perfect, hey? Yeah. They might have t- tied that uh, perfectly. Question number two. As playoffs begin everywhere... What is the playoff matchup that we never got to see that you guys would have wanted to see? Either it be teams or players. That's a pretty good one. Let's see here. I I mean, we were really, really close to getting Mario versus Wayne in 93 in a Stanley Cup final. Well, it should have been very close. Kings ended up making the Stanley Cup final. The Penguins got stunningly upset by the New York Islanders. May or may not have gotten by the Habs, who were on that all-time overtime run. Obviously, the Canadians would have had much more difficult time with Mario and the Penguins than they did with the New York Islanders, kind of breezed through the Islanders after that miraculous upset. Um, But Wayne Gretzky versus Mario Lemieux in a Stanley Cup final would have been would have been quite the scene, man. That would have been amazing. I'd just give me a team from the CFL's West crossing over to meet in the Grey Cup. Anytime, that's it. Just we, we still never I mean, for all the talk always how it is and how it's so much better and, and so much better than the East, you've just haven't seen it. No crossover team in the Grey Cup. Seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. Eleven teams. Nineteen ninety six. Nothing. That long, eh? A full list here of Lions lost to Alouettes ninety seven two thousand two. Riders lose to Argos two thousand. I can go on. Would have liked to have seen Kobe versus LeBron in an NBA final. 2011, the Lakers ended up getting swept by the Mavs, who then ended up beating the Miami Heat in the final. That Dallas team went through Kobe and the Lakers, went through KD, Russ, and Harden in five games. That Mavericks team, I know, I know like the Heat and LeBron take a lot of for lack of a better term, heat for not winning that series. Yeah. But the Mavs beat the Lakers. They swept Kobe in four. They beat OKC, who had young KD, Russ, and Harden in five. And then they went and beat the Heat in six. Like, that Dallas team was pretty good. It's not some 
Cinderella story. The Mavs were actually pretty good that year. That was a great run. But that kind of stopped the chances of seeing Kobe and LeBron go head-to-head as well. What other matchups did we not get that would you have liked to have gotten somewhere along the way? 780-218-9999. 780-218-9999. Uh, Rip City Stab says, Lemieux's Penguins versus Gretzky's Oilers in the Stanley Cup Finals is the only answer. But the trade, yeah. I mean, that would have been... That would have been pretty good, considering so close. Oilers and then the Penguins kind of take over. Yeah. You just, you know, if if Wayne would have stuck around, or if they would have kept him, you know, they win in ninety. Probably end up getting back to the final in ninety one and play the Penguins. Nothing is the North Stars, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine. Dean is in and says we never got a Ryan Smith Oilers versus an Aginla Flames. Could have been a real nice rivalry there, as well. Fun, fun question though. Fun question. This guy's rattle Dudley in here. Oh, Surveyor Brett says Dusty versus Lieutenant Eric. The sprint at Commonwealth. Robbed. <laughs> Me in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dudley's in says, McDavid being out these last couple of games is killing me in my fantasy hockey league. I'm in the championship right now and currently down by 15 points with three days remaining. So much for McDavid showing up in the playoffs. <laughs> oh, hey. fantasy playoffs. That's a, that's a good point. Guys, Dusty versus Tommy in a shootout. Dusty and Net. No, the one that I want to see is me versus Gager. I want to see... Gager says I could not score one on him in 10 straight tries. And I, I, but I mean, he played in the NHL. Like, I gotta give Gage the respect here. I feel like I could maybe get one on him though in ten breakaways. One, you're, you're good for one. One. You got so that's suggest. all it is. Yeah, that's all it is. Is that Tommy Gazzola? There's no wrench on the Gazzola in the nasty chat. Tommy right now. the wrench. T T Gazzola. Guys, Manning versus Brady. Well, we got Manning Brady playoffs. We didn't get a Manning Brady Super Bowl if that's what you're talking about, but we saw Manning and Brady go right. Colts Pats. Ah, Expos Jays World Series. Oh man, the Canadian Series would that not have been something? Yeah, Major League Baseball would have been all for that. Hey, that would have been pretty fun yeah. as well. Guys, Stone Cold versus Goldberg. I can't confirm if that happened. One Battle way or the of the other. Balds. Uh, that would have been uh, something pretty good. Who's who? Yeah, I still think Mario versus Wayne has to be the answer. Just has to be. Other con- you didn't even get to see, didn't even get to see them go head to head that much at all, really. Yeah. So we needed more Mario Wayne back in the late eighties, early nineties. Would have been something for the ages for sure. All right, and this question came in, I think via text message. Could have been on the nasty chat, but I think via text message this morning. Guys, considering the Oilers struggling to win game one in playoff series. If I was to set the over-under on their number of Game 1 wins in the playoffs this year at one and a half games, are you taking the over or the under? The over. They take the over. You're a very confident guy. Extremely confident. Very confident guy. Uh, The Edmonton Oilers, one and a half Game 1s. So if they get to the second round, eh. If you take under, it means you don't give them hope. Whoa. Well, you're just calling a spade Does that know a spade what it translates to there? Um, they haven't started the series very well. Ah, it's different. It's different. I'll take the over one and a half. That way, look, if they, if let's say they get to a conference final, can they win two of the game ones and the three game ones that they would play? I think it's, I think it's possible. Now, not according to many who were freaking out after the loss on, uh, on Saturday night against the well, Canucks, but reacting to your measured takes, <laughs> I'm trying try to lay things out properly here. Exactly. Seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine seven eight zero two one eight ninety nine ninety nine or hit us up in the nasty chat today as well. Hammer the thumbs up if you're watching over on YouTube as well. Wheels is in there. Man in the chair. Elks versus Riders in a best of three CFL series. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen anybody else in the history of the Canadian Football League. And the CFL has been around for, oh, I don't know, over a century. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in the uh, history of the Canadian Football League. Guys, best of three. (laughs) Wheels just gets it, doesn't he? 
He's always on. Oh, Strummy says Ali Tyson. Yeah, but that would have been like we're talking Mario and Wayne in their primes. Like that's that's what you wanted to see. And like, hockey. And, and and hockey. Nobody as cares to, about the boxing. You could you could have Tyson fight Ali on those boxing Go video ahead. games back Wrestling in the day and all that. Yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, I would think. All right, 780-218-9999. Keep those text messages rolling in. Speaking of rolling in, we got that big mamas and papas pizza well, on the way here in the next little bit. The roof lifted off here yeah, yeah. soon. To Any hell, hell it in there. They're going to chop her it in. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll dive into that. Uh, more details on that here in the second half of the hour. More details on that coming up with Eric and a sports update here right away as well. Orange and blue breakfast from Mobile One still to come. As well. Let's get to a sports update with LTE. And oh, Sergio. Hang on. Oh, I'd love to do it over the club beat loop. <laughs> you should do it over <laughs> club beat loop. Eight games around the NHL this evening, including the Oilers hosting the Sharks. Tom Gazzola and YouTube Trev will get you set. They'll have your Oilers stream pregame show starting at 6 here on Edmonton Sports Talk, the iHeart and TuneIn radio apps, and as well on YouTube. Danielle Serdakny with the overtime winner yesterday, leading Canada over the USA 6-5, kept her gold at the Women's World Hockey Championships. The PWHL schedule will pick up Thursday with a pair of games. Scotty Scheffler, your Masters champion, capturing his second green jacket in three years. He finished with a 468. Corey Connors, the low Canadian, at plus seven. Jays back on the diamond tonight. They'll begin a three-game set with the Yankees. From Toronto, they'll send Chris Bassett to the mound. First pitch, 5-0-7. NBA play-in tournament begins tomorrow. The Lakers will visit the Pelicans while the Warriors are on the road visiting the Kings. Yesterday, it was the OKC Thunder locking up first in the division. The conference, they defeat Dallas 135-86, securing that top seed in the West. Sports update brought to you by Big Mama and Papa Pizzeria. BMPP is a real pizzeria restaurant, not just a delivery pizza chain. Serving authentic Italian cuisine with their made in house pizza dough, traditional tomato sauce, and fresh toppings. Each pizza, pizza is cooked to perfection. A pizza experience you've been waiting for, visit them at 12848 97th Street. Order today at www.bmpp.ca or give them a call 587 746 0550. The Nielsen Show featuring Lieutenant Eric. Only on Edmonton Sports Talk. Eight thirty on a Monday morning. Thank you very much for joining us here on Edmonton Sports Talk today. Hangout coming up just after uh, nine o'clock. Maddie, Tommy, and Murray McCourt from the Ranch Golf and Country Club. He was out on the links yesterday. Doesn't have a simulator in his house. I don't think though. Uh, let's get into. Uh, let's. Uh, should we get into a little Ryan Rashog this morning? Let's. Let's do it. Where it is? Here we go. Timberlake rocks. Is that is that a mandate of yours? God, what are we talking about here? Good question. Can some of it be about sports? Yeah. Fun? All he needs to do is just get in front of people and state his case. If they had the mandate from the people, blah, blah, blah. I don't know where that information came from, but I would I would question it. Time for the morning mandate with Ryan Rashad. This is what sports broadcasting is all about. You know what? That may be a good point, Ryan. <laughs> you broke the story, Ryan. Rashad is one giant six foot two pile of Charmin. All right, it's the Monday morning Got Your Back Mandate with Ryan Rashog. Check out the Got Your Back podcast on all your podcasting platforms. Find them over on YouTube as well. Shoggy, how many rounds in the simulator over the weekend, buddy? Oh, uh, four, <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> Two different sets of friends by. Oh, my um, goodness. Pile of balls hits. The coolest part, though, honestly, the coolest part was... Uh, I was playing Augusta oh. on Sunday, <laughs> just kind of like playing those holes as I was playing it nice and slow, just letting the guy like I was playing with him for a couple of holes. <laughs> that was pretty cool, man. You're like sixteen year old me playing video games. You're just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this hockey game tonight while the team's actually playing the game. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> 
God. So, and then, uh, Dusty, you'll be happy to know that my son has uh, revised the simulator, too. So he's got it set up in his room upstairs. He's got the The, driving the Formula simulator. One simulator. Nice. Formula one simulator up in his room. Yeah, the so. kids and I were dabbling in our Formula One setup last weekend, actually. Yeah. It was, uh, You've been it was, very was consistent with that for a few years. I've, uh, yeah, I've had, I don't have as much time to hop in there as I would like, but yeah. uh, we still like to play. They love it. Uh, if I ever need to do anything, I can just pull out that chair, set them up, and I'm, they're good for four hours. Like they wouldn't, they, they don't want to see me again. So, yeah, man, so awesome. this is really improving your friendships, eh, Shaggy? This simulator, like, yeah, you know what? I would say, I would say that it is. Suddenly, I have people that funny I couldn't get to return a text before that are suddenly <laughs> like, hey, we should be friends and get together and do things together. Why don't we come over? So I'm getting a little bit of that, which I yeah. think is great. I just think it's really neat that, that all of a sudden people are are wanting to spend time with me that weren't before. <laughs> well, why so else? I'll, you don't I'll build a it. simulator to just play by yourself. So no, you got no, that I did. For, yeah. I, I mostly did. <laughs> yeah, that's my probably my favorite time. In there. Uh, <laughs> did you wear your uh, Sunday reds yesterday? I'm just curious. No, no, okay. I did not. Right. I did not. I was in. I was in all black. Uh, by the way, I had a chance to meet um, young YouTube Trev. At the ah, the other night. He was saying good things about you this morning, Shoggy. He well, was. I got a new name for him, though. Uh-oh. We're calling him New Tom. New that Tom? Guy is what? He's Tom Gazzola 2.0. I mean, he's, he's a good-looking kid. He's got hair that rivals Tommy's. He's got a much more positive outlook on the world. He's <laughs> super positive all the time. He was so happy to be there. He was so happy to see everybody. And uh, yeah, just it's like if you could take all the things that are kind of agitating about Tom and just sort of <laughs> tweak them a little, new Tom would pop out. And so it was a pleasure meeting new Tom. And I look forward to seeing him again. That's a good comment on the hair because you, he's always wearing a oh, hat yeah. around here. I didn't even know that his hair was that, that, uh, mm. that terrific. Full display. Oh, no. Yeah. Solid, really good salad. Yeah. And uh, I saw he cleaned up kids. nice. Cleaned up nice yeah. there, yeah. As you know, Dusty, like small town kid yes. and just super pumped to 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 be there and to be at the game and to I thought it was great. And uh yeah, just can't can't speak enough about the positive energy that he brings. It just it was it was it was awesome. So it was really great to meet him. Trev, you're loving this, eh? Oh, look at Trev, he's so happy over there. Yeah, oh, is yeah, he, is he in the studio this morning? Oh yeah, he's yeah. Uh, yeah, Trev's here with us every morning, man. That's uh What's up, Shogger? Yeah, that's super sweet, buddy. Appreciate the kind oh. words. <laughs> What's going on, new Tom? Yeah, it's going really good. Yeah, I was just telling the boys of uh, it was how cool it was meeting you, and uh, so yeah, the, nothing but good things to say about you as well, man. Uh, new Tom, I like it. I like it a lot. Wow. Well, listen, we might have an opening over at Got Your Back. I'm hey, not sure. oh, hey, oh, sh yes, you shut up, but... Shoggy. No, it's not happening. We've got it's, a, it's happening. a technical opening that uh, yeah. I'm not sure what your benefits over there yeah. are like, but let's just yeah. say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk to the I'm gonna talk to the order PR staff and see if I can get him a regular spot next to me in the press box and we'll bump Gazola. This is not happening. Snowboard. This is not happening. This is not happening. He's our guy. <laughs> Hands off, Shaggy. Uh, I love right. it, Dustin. You find great talent, man. You uh, found great talent out of a small town. Well done. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I scouted all of them. All the I was in the Pitcher <laughs> Creeks. I was all over the place. We found one. Uh, all right, Shaggy. Let's get to the weekend. No McDavid, obviously. I mean, let's just quickly start there. Just being a little bit extra cautious here. I mean, he's going to play before the playoffs, I would think. Yeah, so here's my read on the situation, and this is not with any sort of uh, inside knowledge. Just having been there and watched it, I would say he started practicing with the intention of playing Saturday. He really pushed himself on Friday, and my guess is maybe it didn't go great. And so Saturday they decided to pull back because I, I really think the plan was to get him into that Saturday game. And he really, like, if you look at the media availability he did on the Friday, he came right off the ice and was talking to us. And, like, his face was red. He was breathing heavy. You could tell he had really pushed himself. And he had been out there for – he went out there on his own for, like, 20 minutes working on skills. And then he took the morning skate with the group that went out for the optional. And then he pushed himself afterwards. So, knowing Connor, right, he's probably just trying to get hard to get back in the lineup. And I think he probably pushed himself a little bit on Friday. And then what they'd do is they'd evaluate it Saturday. And they'd say, okay, how's everything feel the next day and such? So, I'm not going to claim it's some big massive setback. But my gut is he pushed himself hard and they decided let's give it a little bit more time. As for the team without him over the uh, the weekend on the Friday and Saturday back to backs, I mean, how much are you reading into games at this type of year, this time of year? No ninety seven. 
I mean, is there anything we have people today freaking out about the loss to the a loss to the Canucks? But what do you take away from it? Well, I definitely wouldn't be freaking out. Definitely wouldn't be freaking out. Um, I don't honestly. I don't read a ton into it. I think. Um, I mean, if they were ever to have to be without McDavid for a prolonged period of time, um, that obviously would be problematic. But I think what you're getting here late in the season is a team striking a balance between this stupid finish to the schedule. Like, it's just dumb. They're, the number of games they got to play just as they roll into playoffs here. Um, and that's in the back of their minds. So you have a team that I think is conserving energy, whether they'll openly admit to it or not. And I think that's human nature. You know, like Leon Dreisaitl, right? I mean, he's he's going out there and he's working hard, but it's not it's not playoff Leon, right? And and with the division title on the line, I still think that it wasn't. I don't think everybody was out there murdering themselves trying to get there. They're they're playing with an eye on the playoffs, so I'm not reading a tremendous amount into it. Um, you know, interesting to see some of the line combinations and what's it going to look like when he gets back. I think those are all good conversations heading into the playoffs here, but. I, I definitely wouldn't be in panic mode. I, I get the sense that this is about, it's about self-preservation, trying to finish strong. Personal habits need to be good, but um, I don't, I mean, look at Colorado. I mean, Colorado has been like limping to the finish here too, right? It's just, it's the way it goes. Ryan, you mentioned that word push, and, and I wince when I hear push and McDavid and him trying to push it, because you're right. I mean, the, you're in, you're in. It's this week, you got to kind of play it out, but how do you see the week going in terms of these games ahead? And, and, and the balancing act of wanting to get in on a good note, but also being cautious and not wanting to push anything at the, at the moment. Yeah, well, I think I could see him getting into maybe a game here. Um, but again, it all boils down to him being as healthy as he can possibly be for yeah. game one of the playoffs. So, if he, I mean, 100 assists, whatever. When it comes to when you weigh those things off versus the importance of Connor McDavid being able to step onto the ice healthy for game one of the playoffs, Hunter assists means nothing. It literally means nothing. And I, I'm not trying to diminish the accomplishment, but it's true. And I'm sure Connor would say the same thing. So uh, I think ideally they'd like to get him into a game just because that would mean that he's healthy and, and can get himself right back into game shape. Um, but him being healthy is the number one priority. So could he potentially play a little bit tonight? Maybe. Could he potentially play one of those last two games? For sure. But I just think they're going to be so careful with this thing, and I think that's the right thing to do. I, I really do. It's 100 assists is really cool, but I I just can't see them prioritizing it. Shoggy, wow. Well, no, like, no. I in. mean, no. the, the I mean, only thing I can him, think right? of is like it'll be weird. It'd be really weird if they get him in for a game and he gets an assist and then he doesn't play again. And then you're like, did you only play him to get the assist? Yeah. Like, you would like to see him obviously play a game before playoffs just to kind of get things ramped up. But mm-hmm. you met, you mentioned like this is not an ideal schedule heading into playoffs. They still play three more games this week before the playoffs begin late into the weekend. Yeah. How do you, what about other guys in this lineup that need to be managed over the next week, Shoggy? Are there any other guys who are banged up or are we going to Broberg maybe for the final couple of games and Ekholm or Nurse uh, yeah. get a rest or something? Is that what we're gonna, expecting to see? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see Philip Broberg get a bit of action. Um, in terms of other players that need rest, like just look at the big minute guys and maybe we'll see them kind of shifting off, right? Maybe Stetcher will play two of the last three and give each guy a bit of a break. Um, you know, we know Vinny's been blocking shots left, right, and center. We know CC's been in and out a little bit here recently, so you probably put stature to use and give some guys a break. In terms of other players, it wouldn't surprise me one bit to see Zach Hyman, uh, at least with a game off, if not two. Did you see him going to the boards? Um, it was the last game or was it two games ago? He went crashing into the boards hard. Like, and and you know, we interview him after post game, and it's like, I mean, he's the guy's a horse. Like, he's just he's built so strong. But you see him out there on the ice and what he puts his body through. And uh, I think when he went into the boards there, that was a pretty violent collision. So uh, I'd be surprised if Hyman played all three of the next uh, three. It's a door I've gave him that chicken wing too. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's uh, there's a few things to manage, I guess. Well, you you also brought up there, Shoggy, seeing some of the line combinations recently. Yeah. And what happens when McDavid rolls back around? Is there something that since he's been out that you think they may have fallen in love with and want to see a little bit more of? I don't think it's a combination that they've fallen in love with. No, okay. but 
<coughs> excuse me, I, I think I've said it on this show. I've certainly said it on my show. Um, I believe that for this team to get to where they want to go, Evander Kane needs to be yep. playing really well and in their top six, right? He needs to be Evander Kane skating hard, finishing checks, scoring goals. He needs to be a gamer come playoff time. He just had such an important playoff dynamic. And his game is rounding into shape here a little bit. So I would be interested in seeing Evander Kane in the top six in these last few games here. I um, I know he had a little bit of chemistry there on a third line, but I wouldn't. I would allow Evander Kane to bull his way into the top six if he can, and it feels like he might be right now. And that's kind of what I'm interested to see here. Shoggy, as always, buddy, really appreciate it, man. And uh, when are you guys drop in your next episode. Uh, we will be post game tonight. Actually, we'll have uh, Strud's and Brownie tonight, and then uh, yeah, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Playoffs just around the corner, buddy. It's gonna be uh, gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, we'll talk to you next week, dude. All right, sounds good. Hey, Trev, just just grab my number. Tommy's got my number, buddy. Text me, and we'll uh, we'll set up an interview, and we'll see what we can figure out, man. <laughs> sounds good, man. <laughs> Take her easy. I can, you I'm, hear that? Dusty? I'm giving, I'm giving, Trev, I'm giving Trev the wow. death stare right now. He's open to it. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. Get it, you know, back, Trev, get rid of this guy. We don't need him anymore. See you later. Bye. See you later, Shaggy. Bye. Trev, don't you ever leave us. Don't you ever leave us. Can you imagine that? The ultimate twist. It's happening. God. He's not going anywhere. That's pretty cool, though, eh? So cool, Trev. Very cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? Yeah, yeah. You know what? We should have told Shoggy we'll trade Trev for Struddy. Uh, we'll see if that works. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, who knows? Uh, you know, he'd he have to throw something else in. That's how valuable you are to us, Trev. Yeah. Yeah, we want we want Struddy, and we want that light that changes colors behind Shoggy. That's it. That's uh, that's what we want. And then he can have, uh, he can have YouTube Trev. Uh, all right, you can text us anytime, 780-218-9999. That pizza... From Big Mamas and Papas is on the way. It, it it's helicopters it's, left. It's, it's on the way. It's here. Tracking device is on it. Uh, they are on their way. Big Mamas and Papas Pizza opening up today. About to change the game on the pizza scene here in Edmonton. You can check them out. www.bmpp.ca You can find them. They're opening today at 12848 97th Street. 12848 97th Street. Their unique menu items include 28 inch pizza, which is 30 square slices, serves 8 to 10. I think we're going to be somewhere in that area today with this, all that. Like, we can't leave. We can't get off the air until the pizza shows up. Hangout's going to have to wait. We are yeah. not going away until that pizza is sitting right here. Um, what happens first? The pizza arrives or we get to 550 likes? Let's go. Hammer it on YouTube. 780. 28 is the text line. We're 472. We're going to hit 500 today, so let's uh, let's keep that going. Then they've got the 36-inch pizza, which is 60 square slices. Sir, it's 15 to 20. One pizza. You know, usually when you got like 15 to 20 people, and you're like, oh, man, how many pizzas do I have to get? I don't really know what the number is. Now you just go to bmpp.ca, Big Mamas and Papa's Pizzeria, and order one of their 36-inch pizzas. Serves 15 to 20 people. At three to four slices per. He did the math for you. Yeah, I love that. He's typing. Type and when you need run the aggregate. and uh, Then they've got the world record holding pizza, which is the largest deliverable pizza in the world. It's the giant Sicilian. 54-inch pizza. 200 square slices. This is a thing that you can have delivered from Big Mamas and Papas. Give them a call, 587-746-0550. Let's hammer these guys for some pizza tonight for the game. And uh, if you order Big Mamas and Papas, Papas tonight while you're watching the game, make sure you tweet at us and let us know uh, Let us know what you think. They do have 50% off 14-inch large pizzas as one of their limited-time offers for their grand opening. And then their game night meal, they've got two medium pizzas. One topping, garlic bread, cheese, and a pop, two liter pop for 45 bucks as well. And then I got some carryout deals if you want to roll in. You get a 12 inch medium cheese, one topping, 12 bucks. 14 inch large, 14 bucks. 16 inch extra large, 19 bucks, 20 bucks. 
pretty good deal. Visit www.bmpp.ca. We are uh, we are eagerly awaiting the arrival of I, what I would assume. No, I'm not assuming it is the it, it's the first pizza delivery that BMPP is doing in the city on its way right now. Hey, Maddie, are we good to just push the hangout back until this pizza arrives? How far? What's, let's negotiate this right now. What do you think? Five minutes? You're going to go longer. This is going to be easy negotiation. How long, Maddie? Okay, so eight minutes even? Nine, oh, 915. Look at this guy. Say 915. Not bad at all. All right. Well, that gives us more time than uh, it's on the way. It's on. <laughs> Who was that? Zacticum? Zacticum thought it was the funniest joke ever. No pizza for you. Matt, Maddie goes, if it's not here by then, the pizza's ours. And Zacticum goes, ah! <laughs> Yeah, well, look, there's going to be more than enough pizza for the hangout, too. Yeah, but we got first. I'm going I'm to hold Murray McCourt down and make him eat a piece of pizza at 9 o'clock in the morning. What do you think about that, Merman? Hey, piece of pizza? Is the pizza here? It's here. Ah, oh, man, now we don't have to take anything away from the hangout. Yeah, damn. Just wait outside for a couple minutes. Second biggest. This is the second biggest? second biggest? How big is this thing? They're getting it right now. He asked for he Zach. He asked for Zach's help? Oh, boy. For one pizza? Must be a door thing. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to move our computers over a little yeah, bit. This thing's going uh, yeah. to fit in between. Oh, boy. I'm scared now, guys. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. Let's get to your orange and blue breakfast for Mobile One Oilers and the San Jose Sharks tonight. If you want your vehicle to run, get it done with Mobile One. He had to ask Zach for help to bring one pizza upstairs. Yeah, how about Maddie allowing the hanging to be pushed back? Man of the people, hey? That's a good one. Who said that? Dave the Welder. Oh, Dave the Welder. Is that a text? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's a good one. That could be text of the day right there. Text of the day. Orange and Blue Breakfast brought to you by Mobile One and the Blue Water Group, Blue Water Lubricants. Founded in 1974, Canada's largest independent distributor of mobile branded lubricants. They want to thank everyone for a great 50 years. As for what you... I mean, we just talked about it with Rashad. What should we really expect from the Oilers tonight. We don't know. We don't know if McDavid's going to be back in. We don't know if they're going to be sitting anybody else. Don't push anything. So our guess is as good as yours on these line combinations, man. I mean, Dry Saddle, Hyman, Nuge, Henrik Fogel, Kane, McLeod, Perry, Holloway, Ryan slash Carrick, Brown, and Yamark. It's basically what you're going to be. Some form of that. Unless Connor McDavid comes back, do they leave Evander Kane in the top six, like Ryan Rashog was, was kind of talking about here? Trust face is just like... <laughs> they're they're having our time. Oh, there it is. How okay. big is this pizza? Dude. Oh, holy Come on, what are, crap. Maddie, will it fit in here? It has to go diagonally. It has to go diagonally to get oh in here? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Chad, take us through the play-by-play. They're getting it through the last door now. It's at an angle. Uh, two guys. Second biggest. They're walking in right now. Come on. Oh. Come on, Tra- Rick. You're going to have to move your computer over a little bit yeah. more here. Holy smokes. Right in the, right in the middle. Look at this. Oh. is the second biggest. Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it fit. Oh, that's heavy. There I can see why go. they needed help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Easy. Okay. Easy. Okay. Well, I'll pull this bag back, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some plates and stuff, too. Big mamas and papas. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> This is the second largest one. There's a bigger one. Yeah, it was a. Do you guys deliver this in a flat deck? Like you have to have a truck for this or a van or something, right? Like custom fitted car. A custom fitted car. I think I can. Unbelievable. Slice. No, Trev. There's not enough for you. Uh, this is insane. Our biggest ones in the Guinness World Book of Records. That's what I was talking about this morning. Yeah. So what what size is this? So that's their second biggest. It's called our Big Papa. Okay. It's a Thirty-six incher. Thirty-six incher. All right, Trev, do the reveal. Open up. We got the high cam on here, so that should be good. Let's go. High cam's good. Let's see. Oh, look at this thing. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. So how many, How many? I mean, it's always a number. What would this feed? Depends on how hungry yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, but that, as you can see all over the box, that's a good 10 to 12. This is like, this. at least, this, is, this would feed 15 people. Like, this feeds, this is for birthday parties, man. Yeah. Right? Like, this feeds a birthday party right here. Yep. This is insane. Yeah. Well, thanks for dropping it off. So we usually get sort of a, the layout. Yeah. Obviously the 
to see. Okay. So you had to tilt a little bit. So you just have huge ovens, I guess. We do actually for the big guy. Yeah. Custom adapter. Okay. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Trev, grab a slice. Let's get in on a slice here, boys. Yeah, no, that's perfect. This is great. This is awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. BMPP.ca is where you can check them out. And this is the second largest one. So, my God. All right. Look at this. Look at that. A lot of scratch. Oh. <laughs> That's delicious, man, oh man. boys. Awesome. Unbelievable. Yeah. This thing is huge. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I can't believe one comes bigger than this. Yeah. No, this is uh, this is a like everybody's getting in on this. Hammer the thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube, but if you're listening online, you got to go over and check this out on YouTube. To see how big this pizza is. This is absolutely incredible. How many slices are in here? So that's about 60. This is 60. This is a 60 slicer. Unbelievable. And it's good. I can't wait to get to this crust because this crust looks unreal. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. This is how you roll into the pizza scene in Edmonton right here. Wow. You're not messing around. One more time. Check them out. Triple W. Dot BMPP dot CA. 28. They got look, they got regular size pizzas too, obviously, but 28 incher. This is the 36. They've got a 54. <laughs> which is, so this just to put this into perspective, this is 60 slices. The 54 incher is 200 slices. So at one and a half times, it's no three times the amount of slices here. So I mean it's gotta be insane. This is and they'll deliver it. This is ridiculous. Which is nuts. The box and the bag. <laughs> Quinn says, if you're not watching on YouTube, my God, you are missing out. Look at this. Look at this. Like you could you could fan the whole this could be air conditioning <laughs> for the building here. You keep the box. This is nuts. Uh all right, let's uh let's continue with the uh orange and blue breakfast. Totally got sidetracked by the biggest pizza I've ever seen in my life getting uh dropped off. Uh, and if you want to try this tonight. Let's, uh, let's hammer these guys tonight. They're just opening up today. Let's give them a nice little Edmonton welcome. 587-746-0550. 587-746-0550. 12848-97th Street Northwest. And uh, check out their whole menu and order online. www.bmpp.ca. Limited time offers that they have is uh, like for grand opening. 14-inch large pizza, 50% off, one topping, $11.24. They got some game night specials and things as well. www.bmpp.ca. I'm All blown, right. up, blown away. Like a- the, yeah, I thought I knew it was going to be big, but... But until you see it. This is nuts. Uh, all right, the San Jose Sharks. Let's take a look at the poor bastards who have to play for this team. Uh, Granlund between Zetterland and William Eklund. Luke Coonan with Colin Graff. I'm not even sure that's a real person. Clem Costin. Clem Costin's rolling second line in San Jose right now. Studnika with Bailey and Thomas Bordalo. Carpenter with Nico Sturm and LeBanc. And then Ferraro with Jan Ruta. Kyle Burroughs, Henry Thrun. That sounds like a Game of Thrones name. Mark Edward Vlasic and Kalen Addison. This is why the Oilers are two and a half goal favorites on the puck line tonight. That would be the reason there. Eric, your key to a oh, uh, list of guys who aren't tough enough to play hockey tonight. Yes, uh, just bringing that up here. And, of course, uh, for the Oilers, it's uh, probably Connor McDavid, as he's uh, listed as day-to-day. But for the uh, San Jose Sharks, the visitors tonight, in which we'll go over, I'm sure, a uh, somewhat lengthy list of uh, walking wounded and whatnot. Hey, the wrench. Tommy the wrench grabbing a slice. Uh-oh. Do you need a plate, too? Those guys, that bag is huge. Yeah, the right, bag the is bag. huge. You're right, Tommy. made bag, yeah. In order to carry a big pizza. You have to have a big bag. Check out the box. <laughs> Look at this thing. Unbelievable. How do you even recycle that? It's an honor for us to have the first pizza from BMPP to be delivered to us. That's it. Doesn't matter. Anybody at San Jose, we're good. You want them? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, your key to an Oilers victory tonight, Rick? Uh, the victory would be coming away with no further injuries. Exactly. How about that? that? Would be, that's the key. How about that? That's the real key. Get into this crust. That's a good. 
Oh, well, square fluffy. pieces. The square, the square pieces. Square. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, this could take our entire team, like the whole week to eat. I want somebody. I want somebody alone taking down the full, the big one. Just to <laughs> see. I just want to see. Uh, you know what? If you if you ordered just the two hundred slicer, how long would that like? If you had a fridge or you could save it in like a uh, cold storage room or something. If you're up for the challenge, how, do it. How long would that? How long would you have that for? Document. Two hundred slices of pizza. I mean, looking at like three, four months, it'll cover you. Two three, slices a day. Three three squares a day. Maybe take a little snack to work. Yeah. Well, that'd be great. Uh, my game day prediction tonight will be Edmonton Oilers do win. I think the Oilers will win tonight. I'm going to say they score four goals and a win. Four goals and a win. That'll be my official prediction for tonight. All right, let's get into the wrap for William Huff. What a day for drop-offs my around goodness. here. We got the uh, wrap for William Huff. If you want your place to look as good as ours, uh, they've got those new deals, and I tweeted it out not that long ago. Bruce came by just before 7 o'clock today and dropped off some of the packages that they have available. If you go to WilliamHuff.com, if you want to get your place of employment or your house into the playoff spirit, here's what they've got rolling for you right now over at William Huff. They brought him in earlier today. They got the big banners. They got the little banners. They've got the window decals. They've got the little stickers that you can get as well. Uh, go to williamhuff.com. You'll see the different prices for your package. So if you are, are a business owner, you want to throw up a, a banner, or at home you want to throw up a banner, a uh, smaller banner, and then you can get a bunch of these, a stack of these to give away to everybody coming into your business as well. Go to WilliamHuff.com. They've got different packages at different prices. If you also just want to pick up one of these bad boys, one of these little stickers yeah. and decals, yeah. you can uh, you can do that as well. WilliamHuff.com. They've been doing it since 1972, so you know it's good. Visit their website, www.WilliamHuff.com, for more on those playoff packages. Show your passion for the Oilers during the 2024 playoff run. Imagine somebody just hopping on the show for like the first time ever and seeing what's up right now. It's being like, what is this? It looks cool from the screen view, hey? That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, up top, it's just insane too. Like, it is. Uh, all right, what'd you learn on the show today, buddy? Well, Joaquin Gage uh, chimes in in the nasty chat. That is ridiculous mixing a vegetable. And uh, Joaquin, there's No, we have half. a veggie side. They got olives and uh, tomatoes and peppers and, and the whole bit, so a little bit of health. Artichoke in there, yeah. Nobody's got to the veggie side yet. Not yet. But We're we working will. on it. We're working. We're saving that for Gage. Yeah, Gager, come on in. Come grab on a in, slice. Eat your veggies. Put your come on in, grab a slice, Gager. Um, what did we learn on the show this morning? Well, I, look, I, you know, it's it's everybody's going to be a tough out in the Stanley Cup playoffs. News flash. Yeah, and I think right now and this week for the Oilers, it's paramount that they just stay healthy. And I think everybody's kind of come to agreement on that. We've settled down from Saturday night, have we not? You put out your measured tweet. <laughs> I did, and it's fine. And now I think we're all coming around to it. Everybody's reasonable now. Yeah, I think we're all reasonable now. And setting up a nice late night game against the Sharks tonight. All right, let's get to your sound of the day. A man of the people. Uh oh. Something get hit here on the mute. I think the pizza is that kicking took the out the uh, yeah, took probably. out the cord. Yeah, you know that happens. Anyway, the, the sound game. of the day the was pizza. the. Uh, he's a man of the people. <laughs> Figured this pizza it was too big for the for the desk. <laughs> That's okay. It came in and it stole the show. Yeah, exactly. So it you, did. You can argue this with the box this, this size. This is a like, stealer. Unbelievable. All this stuff. They wrote like their message, their corporate messaging inside the box. It's crazy. Yeah, it's great. Well, you could do anything in here. So much space. Uh, the text of the day. Who was it? Dave the Welder? Dave the Welder. Dave the Welder. What was it again? Swinging in late. Maddie allowing the hangout to be pushed back. He's, a man, of He's the a man of the people. He's a man of the people. He really is. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the thumbs up today, you guys. Appreciate it over on YouTube. If you're listening on TuneIn, on iHeart, or EdmontonSportsTalk.com, and you have friends that you think would also enjoy the show, make sure you tell them to uh, to check us out on TuneIn, on iHeart, and at EdmontonSportsTalk.com. Hangout is coming up with uh, Maddie Wanick, Tommy Gazzola, Murray McCourt from the uh, VOP Golf Show, and of course the Ranch Golf and Country Club. Trev, you're gonna have to have another slice here, buddy. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think you're going to have to have another slice. A uh, huge shout-out to our new partners on board. Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria. Opening today, bmpp.ca if you want to grab a, a new pizza in town for the game tonight. I'm not saying you have to get this one, the second biggest one they got, but if you want to eat for a while, you certainly can. The kids right now, Marshall and the Muslim must be watching the show being like, what is happening? It's amazing. Yeah, it's great. 
the novelty of it all, but you can get a regular portion for Yeah, yeah, you can get a regular <laughs> size. They only they don't only deliver these. No, no. And bigger ones. They got regular pizzas too. So bmpp.ca if you want to order online. Make a plan to do it tonight. You can also give them a call. They are on board here with Edmonton Sports Talk. Going to be sponsoring a segment called The Big and Hot Headlines of Two Guys and a Goalie as well. So, um, yeah, this is great. It's nice to... Well, <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, for YouTube Travel Lieutenant Eric, I'm Dustin Nielsen. Hang on to have your next chance to qualify for the ESC Flyway to Vegas with Fly YEG as well. Have a great Monday. Take it easy.